All right, welcome back, fellow gamers of the gaming nation. Everyone in the game nation, raise your controller in the air. <laughs> wow, that was cringy. All right. Um. Hello, Sally. Acorn. Let's go ahead and load this up. Um, yes. Hey, I remember all that stuff. Oh boy, Shovel Forge. I'm glad that you're here too, Sally. I honestly think this is probably my favorite song in the game. I might have to add that to the standby set list. Hey Iris, what does a candle remind you of? Um, fire? Anything else? What, like a dick? Oh, I wasn't asking you. Oma, oh I wasn't asking you. Funny they never really talk about the bronze dragon. They just did a Spinal Tap reference. What? I can't believe they did a Spinal Tap reference. I didn't see that coming. Tiger Rug. I feel like I haven't been noticing. Oh no, yeah I did, because she got mad about it. I remember that. Always reply after reading. Oh, I'm sure they're talking about like when you, if you're texting someone and saying like, don't leave someone on red. My day's going just fine, Sally. I hope your day's going well. for the nursing home magic show is this really just like the most wholesome yakuza to ever exist Yeah, was the joke supposed to be that she was sneezing? That's, uh... That's rough. Wait, property probably belongs to someone in the gang, of course. I think that's pretty much everything. You want to call your mom? Well, that's random. I just thought she might be worried. Yeah. It's, it's right. fine. She knows already. She already knows that I was almost kidnapped by 20 armed men and that we were in the middle of a shootout. I told her I'm with you. I'm sure she's not worried. How's school? School? Today's Tuesday. It's not another holiday, is it? Dense? Tessa, 
was almost kidnapped. Yeah. She can't be going to school now. Sure she does. School's very important, you see. I guess that's true, but... About Rindu. Maybe Mr. Okiero was a part of Nice. What? Oh, sorry. I was just thinking out loud. What makes you think that? When we were at Sunfish Pocket, my friend said... What'd she say? Uh oh. Oh it god. For Iris. <laughs> it took a while to load in. Wow, and just for that. I almost got kidnapped by Nice. I can't tell if that was on purpose or not, because that almost feels like it was a joke. Was that just a coincidence? No, it wasn't. Okay. And not just that. When you found my corpse in the parallel world, you found it in an Okiara warehouse. Uh, hey, sword. It takes a bit sometimes, even worse on the Switch version. Probably affiliated with nice. That's kind of the big, one of the biggest disappointments of the Switch for me is the fact that it doesn't actually have solid state loading times like you'd have on a classic cartridge. Because I know it just stores data differently because it's different, but when I first heard, oh, the Switch is going to use cartridges, that was my first thought. Is like, oh, sweet, the loading times are going to be like instantaneous. And it was kind of the opposite situation. That makes me think the Opioras and Nyes are connected. Uh, Sword, I can't believe they had a Spinal Tap reference. Because I looked at this sofa, and she was like, this sofa is so black. It's like so black, how much more black could it be? And then Dati said, the answer is none. None more black. Which, uh, is a Spinal Tap reference. When you told me you were coming, I made them leave. Right, he always makes his lackeys leave so he, they don't see him uh, fanboying over Tessa. I can't let them see me with Tessa. Exactly. Look, you just need to... You just need to... Commit, buddy. You need to commit to this lifestyle. Sorry, never heard of them. Are they even real? Yeah, I mean, uh, of course. Okay. <laughs> I've always known, deep down, there must be some kind of secret organization. I've always known, deep down, always that known. whatever you say is true. You don't know, Spinal Tap Sword. You can't just say that this is like a old person thing, because the movie came out in 1984, which was considerably before I was born. But, um, it's basically a, it's a mockumentary, it's a parody uh, movie about a band that doesn't exist called Spinal Tap. And the whole movie is basically, it's just like this mockumentary, like this, this director is following the band as they like, all this silly stuff happens to them. Oh, so you do know what Spinal Tap is. Um, oh, hey, Spack. Thanks to Dragnix's sacrifices, I was able to defeat the worm on my first try. Yeah, that did seem like, also nice, awesome. That seemed like one of, the, that last little, uh, uh, the spot was really tricky to find, so yeah, that definitely helped. But that's cool. Kind of one of the formative mockumentaries, yeah. I think the Ruddles came out first in the 70s, but Spinal Tap was kind of the one that really... It wasn't based on one specific thing. Because the Ruddles was a, a Beatles parody, but Spinal Tap is just its own thing. But the reason why I was bringing that up, Fack, is because there was a Spinal Tap reference. When I was looking at this sofa, uh, Iris said, it's so black, it's like so black, how much more black could it be? And Date said, none, none more black. Oh, I didn't examine the chair. Hey, if you get tired, 
you can oh, sit on my lap, okay? Boy. Oh, well in that case. <laughs> Not you! <laughs> hey, you offered, buddy. Anyway, I, I got some info about the shootout. Those guys aren't affiliated with any criminal organization we're aware of. They're not Mafia, or Yakuza, or anything. They must have been hired guns. Uh, by... Niza... Mattis. <laughs> it's Niza it Laws! <laughs> Niza Mattis. That's me trying to remember someone's name. Or a, a name of a thing in general. You know, it's funny, uh, Spinal Tap, another well-known joke from that movie is that uh, the guitarist has has an amp that, that instead of going up to the n number 10, it goes to 11. And the director's talking to him about it, and he's like, so why does your amp go to 11? And then, so the guitarist is like, well, you know, it's just like, if you really want to get that extra just oomph, like you just, you're, you know, you're, if you get to 10, but you just need a little more, you need more sound, then boom. Crank it up all the way to 11. And then the director goes, why, why don't you just make 10 louder and then 10 is the highest number. And the guitarist just stares at him and he goes, well, no, no, these go to 11. <laughs> Which is like, it, it's kind of something better seen than explained. But anyways, the reason why I was ex explaining that is because the, the IMDB page for Spinal Tap the score for that movie goes to 11. So the score is out of 11 instead of out of 10. And it's the only movie on IMDb that's like that, which is cool. Unfortunately, I don't have anything new for you. But yeah, the, basically the joke is that all the band mem members are dinguses. But uh, I did find out a little nugget of info you might want to hear. What is it? I'll tell you, but, uh, Date, come over here. Oh, and funnily enough, the, uh, the, the lead singer of Spinal Tap, uh, what's the name of the character? Uh, it's like something St. Hubbins, I can't remember his name. But anyways, um, what is it? Hang on, it's driving me crazy. David St. Hubbins. So D David St. Hubbins is played by Michael McKeon, who's also uh, Saul's brother in Better Call Saul, except he's a lot older in that show. So it's, it's unless you like know it's him, you, you might not notice. Again with this? So I remember like when I started watching Better Call Saul, I was like, what the hell, freaking David St. Hub David St. Hubbins is the is Saul's brother. With his arm over my shoulder, Moma led me to the corner of the room. I'll tell this phone goes to eleven. You do something for me. You want to shake her hand again? You want to shake her hand? No, 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 no. I, I did that already. Right. I want to see her panties. Are you serious, dude? Do not give me that look when you just said that like that. He was okay. So you freaked out about the show me your boobs thing, but this is okay. <laughs> I feel like this game really jumps all over the place with like, okay, today this character is the most perverted one, and then this one's the straight man. Oh no no okay, okay today this one's the most perverted character. It's like they all take turns, just being going between the uh, pervert and the straight the straight man. Uh, Sword said presumably he's a lot older in real life. No, he's actually the same age in real life, but he had to like age up to play the character like method acting because they needed an older character, so he just made himself look older. That's what really happened. I'm sorry? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. I, I, I want to see Tessa's panties. Momo, please. I really, oh, really, really want to see what happened to you. you. Gotta let me get a peek. 
Oh my god. He is desperate. Uh, Momo seems pretty ag aggressively straight. Well, you know what I meant. <laughs> She's not gonna let you. Well, can you at least ask? Unbelievable. Jesus. I don't understand. But it's just it's like it's weird Iris, because could you do me a favor? Cause literally the joke before was that he just wanted a handshake, but Date was like, huh, he wanted to see your boobs. And the joke is like, oh I didn't ask for that, what the heck? But now he wants to see the joke is that he wants to see your panties. It's like this game wants to have its cake and eat it too. All for the sake of these these inappropriate jokes, and you know what? I'm just I just can't handle that. This guy wants to see your panties. Well, he just said it. I thought he, maybe he would word it differently. Did someone pass out? Oh, she hit me hard. That's messed up, Date. Well, I'm not the one who's. I know Momo would never say that. Okay, sure. Right, Momo? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Momo. Yeah, 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 of course. Date, you evil pervert. Seriously? You just want a handshake, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I tried to tell him. He just wanted another handshake. Because it was all a setup for this joke. Well, the only reason I brought that up right now is because I, I, I've kind of had the same thing happen recently where the characters just kind of take turns being perverts and then the other characters being like, what, you can't be a pervert? It's like, but you were just being a pervert like five minutes ago or even like uh the pun thing where is allowed to do puns but if someone else does a pun he gets angry i thought that was yesterday today's the happiest day of my life i can't wait for tomorrow anyway Anyway, what's this intel you got? Check it out. Friday night near Bloom Park, someone saw Renju. Friday night? That's when Shoko was killed. I still feel weird that they had Moma ask to see her panties because I feel like before that his character did seem to be a lot more innocent in that sense that he was just a big fan of her. Cause like I was even starting to think like, wow, this Yakuza place must be really wholesome. Uh, Cause I think I read their their schedule board and it said that they had like a, I forgot what it said. It said something that was like nice. And then suddenly he comes out with this thing. Obviously that's not enough to pin the crime on him. I only really know Captain Commando for Marvel vs. Capcom 2. I've never played the original game that he's in. Though that could be interesting to check out at some point. But it does prove he was there. I guess we should check the merry-go-round again. Dang, we're going back to the merry-go-round again? The police have already thoroughly searched it. Yeah, I noticed that their motto changes every time. And then, like, what's on their schedule board. This time the motto was, uh, always reply once you've read. Which I think they're referring to, like, when you get a text and it says that it's been read. And we've been there more than once before on our investigation. Right. But we might have missed something, right? Dang, we're really gonna go back to the merry-go-round again? Maybe Nai's ordered Mr. Okiara to help number 89 escape. And number 89 is an assassin. If he wanted to get rid of me, Mr. Okira must have... If that's true, it could be related to Shoko's murder. Shoko must have found out about the organization. He killed her for getting too close, then displayed the body as a warning. I 
Once we solve the mystery of knives, everything will fall into place, or so it's not. Well. No. Dude, it's been like the loading times for those. Secret societies too. I find that stuff fascinating. Oh yeah. Good point. Might have more information. But wait a minute, why would he have more information on Nyes? Like the whole reason Nyes is after her is because she found out about them. So if he knew more about them, then they would definitely be on his tail. Dante, you you have silly reasons for interrogating people. Bloom Park. I feel like going there is going to be a waste of time, but... Uh... Oh my god, the game just is having loading problems right now. So weird. She was probably the one responsible for Iris' murder in the parallel world, in which case he might be a part of Nice. I need to confront him. I must break you. Let's go, Iris. Oh, yeah! You're taking Tessa with you? Oh, now? She'll be safer here! Uh-huh. I can't do that. I made her a promise. Oh, true. I'm her bodyguard now. I will be Iris' garter mount. Stop. Don't say it like that. Or what? Uh, sorry. <laughs> I meant bodyguard. I should say Date is the one protecting her. I shouldn't put myself in Date's shoes, considering he's he's a big weirdo. Well, whatever. But if you're gonna leave, you should take this with you. Gun. Mama opened his desk and took out a small object. What's this? A GPS transmitter. Mama, Iris's phone already has GPS. I know, but in case she gets caught and they throw away her phone or something, it's just an extra precaution. Okay. Put it somewhere they won't find it. Thank you. Iris took the GPS transmitter and hid it in her clothes. Oh, Sally, you got my reference. I hope it'll be useful. Date. If anything happens to her, I'll make sure you regret it for the rest of your life. Uh, I don't know why I made that reference, but be that fine, was the reference. Alright. <laughs> I'm just gonna hit up Bloom Park because... What else are we gonna find there, really, unless we just... It might just be another, like an excuse to prompt another conversation like that one time when we visited the warehouse but there was nothing there took my time checking every inch of the merry-go-round there's nothing here there's nothing here guess not why did Renju come here Friday night? Was it a, to place Shoko's body here, or did he have another reason? Renju's my friend. I want to believe him, but I don't know how long I can keep defending him. Where is he? What is he doing? I thought it over a thousand times. My head is heavy with it. Ira suddenly snapped me out of it. Wanna race, Dante? Race? Yeah, we talked about it yesterday. You wanna challenge me? Oh yeah. Sure. How do they yeah, know I played that it. part yesterday? We'll start here and end here. So we race around the merry-go-round? Right. Line up next to me. Before I even had a chance to reply, Iris got set. Guess I have no choice. I lined up next to Iris. Okay, here we go. Ready, set, go! I couldn't believe my eyes. I thought I might, must be dreaming. A second after the race had started, I was already two paces behind her. I couldn't close the gap. I watched her back get smaller and smaller. This doesn't seem like a good idea for a bodyguard. 
to have your person you're guarding. Okay. They were exaggerating. I thought that she was like really far ahead of him. Also, I guess they're just going around the merry-go-round. It's not too bad. See? Told you. Iris is the messenger of the gods. You've earned your namesake. <laughs> Do you know a lot about mythology? Huh? You said that Iris is a goddess in Greek mythology. And three days ago, you were talking about Egyptian mythology. True. Horus is the Egyptian god of the sky and sun. The right eye is the eye of Ra, and that's the sun. The left eye is the, the eye left of Wajah, eye. and that one is the moon. The moon. Oh, mythology? I actually don't know that much. Uncle taught me everything. Uncle, you say? Six years ago, I used to come here with someone all the time. I used to call him uncle. Six years ago, you say? Oh yeah, didn't he come up with Aset too? Yeah, that's right. That name is rooted in Egyptian mythology too. This game definitely seems to benefit playing it uh, chunk by chunk, like taking breaks. Because there's so many times where they bring up stuff that was said not that long ago, but if you had stopped playing for a day or a couple days or whatever, it can be helpful to get that little refresher. And it is natural for the characters to say stuff like that, like, oh, they said this, right? Or they said that. But if you were playing it like all in like one long session, then it might get redundant to be like, yeah, I know. But then again, who would want to play a game for that long or like a visual novel game in, in general for that long that might I don't know for me that'd be kind of a lot You should do a review of this in six years, so you can constantly say six years ago. Well, the sad part is, I've been making reviews for so long, Daddy, I, why are you staring at the pole? I could literally say six years ago and be talking about a review I did six years ago. I can't believe I've been making videos for that long, I feel so freaking old. I mean, I was fairly young when I started, but still. I guess I'm lucky I was already able to grow facial hair at the time, so that way I don't... It, it's not like a jarring change if you go back. I was thinner in my older videos. That's probably the main difference. Sally says, are you a big fan of the Terminator series? I like Terminator. I'm not like a, a huge fan, though. It's been a while since... You know what, I think I've only ever seen up to the third movie, too. I mean, I am a good dancer, but... I've never pole danced. I was not expecting that reaction. It's really funny how the, the leap that the characters take. They're like, you're staring at a pole, huh? You must want me to pole dance. They always describe those poor horses as pathetic. You can hear the world weariness in your voice increase over time. Oh no. Beck has already analyzed. <laughs> the, uh, the evolution of, of J reviews. How did you get so fast? I told you yesterday, I love moving around. And I especially love dancing. But... Hmm? About three months ago... Mr. Ogira told me something. He said that I can't dance. I was about to joke. I was about to say, you can't dance anymore. Why? I don't know. He said something about being over-reliant on dancing and neglecting my singing. You know what? He might have a point there. I'm not trying to be mean, but maybe could use a little more practice on the vocal aspects of your performance. You should stop dancing for now and practice singing. 
But during your live stream... She was dancing. Because I was sad. You look very sad <laughs> as you dance like that. After I stopped dancing, I lost so many fans. Really? That's some... Um, that's all they're watching you for is dancing? You need to get some more uh, loyal fans there. They said terrible things to me. Like that I'm worthless if I can't dance. Oh my god. Well, that shouldn't be a reason for you to just dance again. That's mean. Uh, what is pole dancing? Uh, it's something that performers do. Uh, back will explain it. Okay, I'm glad that I'm, I'm not the only one who agrees with Renju on that. All I have is dancing. Just dancing. Well, anyway, about Aset. Horace's <laughs> mom is named Isis. I like how we don't even, like, give her any reassurance. We're just like, anyways. But in ancient Egyptian, it's pronounced closer to Ise or Ase. Oh, so that's why that's your nickname. Hmm. How do I explain this? No, that's good enough. <laughs> Horus's father's name is Osiris. And uh -huh. his mom's name is Isis. Mm -hmm. So Osiris is Isis's husband. Mm -hmm. Osiris was assassinated by his brother Set. Right. After Set killed Osiris, he tore his body to pieces and threw it into the river. Isis was devastated. Oh no. I can't believe I'm a widow at my age. But she didn't let it break her. Because she had the power of life and death. Ah. All right, fine. If that's how it's gonna be, I'll just revive my husband. With a group of her friends, she gathered up Osiris's body and started the resurrection ritual. It's funny that as a god of life and death, you'd have to get to that conclusion. Like, I can't believe someone I cared about's dead. Wait a minute. I can revive them. <laughs> I would just immediately just be like, okay, time to revive them. Live! Shh, grrr. And so, Osiris was revived! Well, technically he wasn't all there, so he wasn't uh -oh. in one piece. But anyway, Isis was the goddess of life, death, and fertility. She was worshipped by all the land. Pole dancing, a cultural art of the Polish people, where individuals dance around a pole. And Sally said, actually, pole dancing is in a local pub. I'm sure you're both right. Uh, I think I get the picture, but what does that have to do with your own name? There's a theory that the Greek goddess Iris is really based on the Egyptian goddess Isis. So Isis and Iris are connected. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. And Isis sounded like Aset in ancient Egyptian, which is where your stage name comes from. That's right. But remember, I didn't come up with the name. My uncle, uncle. did. The one that vanished six years ago. <laughs> Have I been to a local pub? Um, a local one, no, funnily enough. I don't really go to bars because I'm not a drinker, but like, I, it's funny, usually when I go to a bar, like when I visit my friend in New Jersey, we would go to the his local bar and, to play music live. And then, um, when I hung out with a couple of friends in LA recently, we went to a couple bars just to hang out and they, they drink and stuff, but I just went. But no, I don't usually really Horace's go to bars very often. Was set, his uncle. If I am, I, I usually think about like, oh, could I practice and play, do a performance there? That, that, that would be like my main concern. His uncle. I told you earlier. Horus's father was Osiris, who was assassinated by his younger brother, Set. Right, I see. Not only was he killed, he was shredded to pieces. Oof. So obviously Horus was pissed. Right. Drat! I'll never forgive you, Uncle Set. <laughs> yeah, Kiko decided it would be a good idea to start a live stream in the middle of this 
bar with all these people dancing at the exact moment that I decided to take a break on account of a hundred people dancing. Oh yeah, I'm totally taking notes. Uncle Set Drat. On the other hand, Set didn't like having Horus around. Oh, he's so annoying. Osiris said that I was supposed to be king, but now everyone's like, oh, Horus should be king. Are these idiots serious? Horus would be an awful king. Were these gods actually supposed to have like animal heads or is that just like a some symbolic thing? Because I know that's a thing you have like um one of them's like a jackal or something right time to go to war and so a bloody war broke out just like that and the winner was decided by a deadly game what kind of game they would disguise themords as hippos for the river disguise and themselves as hippos I hate that that reminds me of that Ace Ventura scene. Oh no, he's a rhino. He's in a rhino suit in that, isn't he? No, that's how they were depicted. Often how they're represented. Anubis is the jackal-headed one, gotcha. Uh, no, I don't drink beer, Sally. Do I like popcorn? I love theater popcorn. Theater popcorn is f amazing. I love it. I also like kettle corn. Like, if you if you're at like a um, like a swap meet or maybe like a street fair or something that has kettle corn, those are really really good too. So yes, I do like popcorn. That's what they decided. How oddly specific. So for eighty years they fought. It was bloody and horrible. Okay. About that eye of Wajut. In the end. Horus won. Horus used a spear to cut off Set's foot and Wee Wee. Oh, Wee Wee. Okay. I believe she is referring to a male. Wait, why are you asking me? But Horus didn't come out of this unscathed. During the battle, Horus lost his left eyeball to Set. You don't say. It said that the left eye survived and traveled all over Egypt, gaining wisdom and experience. Horus had no idea that his left eye was wandering around on its own. What? Where did my eye go? Horus was totally bummed out. He went to see the god of wisdom, the moon, and time, Thoth. Thoth. Hey, that's the uh, name of uh, Boingo or Boingo, the one with the manga. That's the name of his stand, isn't it? Isn't it Thoth? Thoth. Um. I'm starting to wonder now if this relates to, you know, obviously the losing the left eye and they're talking about siblings and stuff. Could it be that we have a brother? Maybe they're trying to set it up as if we're the uncle, but maybe, maybe the uncle's our brother. And maybe that would explain why they don't recognize us. Damn, Seth did that? That's brutal, dude. All right. I'll use my moon power to heal you up. Yay! Moon thank you, power. Mr. Thoth. Okay, here it goes. Moon healing power. Ring, ring, ring. Thoth cast his spell, and Horus's eye came zooming in. Zoom, click. Horus got his eye back. Well, that's nice. And from that day forward, his left eye had the power of the moon in it. His left eye had the power of the moon in it. That sounds like such a Suda thing. Cause I mean, the moon is already such a big recurring thing in like Kill the Past games. And then, not necessarily the left eye specifically, but just like a one eye in general. Although I think in a, I think in Kamui's case, it is his left eye. That's the silver eye. And then there's characters, there's always like a thing with the eyes that usually represents like some type of ascension. Huh. It became the symbol of knowledge and healing, and revered that's as a sacred icon. So that's the Eye of Wadjet? Right. And it became the Eye of Providence. Yes! And do you think that's why we call it the Wadjet system? 
Hey, that's on my one dollar bill that I have. Jay, how much have you read mythology? Lots of moon stuff in there that predates Suda. No, I'm pretty sure Suda invented the moon. Probably, yeah. In the end, we didn't find any new information on Renju, but I'm not too upset. This is what criminal investigation's about. You don't always find what you're looking for. That's what I figured. We were just gonna come here to have a, a conversation. Yeah, let's go. I didn't think we were gonna find anything. Uh. That guy hates us. Let's save him for last. Oh, what's everyone doing here? Ota and Mizuki were both in the diner. Nice at loss. I see. It's I've never not heard impossible. of them. Ota spoke softly to himself, looking deep in thought. Why does Mizuki always look angry at us? I don't appreciate that. Kuroda Kazuaki's liver with anchovy stir fry. You think when Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin walked on the moon, they were like, Whoa, is this a Suda51 reference? That's exactly what they did. The flag... A lot of people don't know this because you've only ever seen pictures of the American flag on the moon from the front. But on the back of the flag is actually the Grasshopper Manufacturer logo. Masanori was here? He knows about this place? It was from a long time ago. Um, her default state is disapproving of Date. It really is. She really is mean to Date. Hey, Date, do you want this poster? No, not really. You know, if you rub the swimsuit with a coin, you can scrape it off. I'll take it. Oh! Yeah, I'll throw it away for you. Date has such a flimsy... Uh... Resilience. Hey, Date! I've got this video of a girl in a white shirt under a waterfall! Wanna watch? Absolutely not. Meow! What are you doing? Oh! You don't know? It's good luck to imitate a cat in front of one of these. Oh, I see. Mizuki's voice actor sounds really familiar, by the way, but I'm not sure uh, from what. Salt, pepper, a blend of red cayenne and spices, and an unidentified liquid. Well rested Mayumi juice. I can never figure out what the sauce is, every time. You know anything about the Lovers of Aether, a dating simulator game? I can't say that I do. Is that chair comfortable, Tessa? If it's not, you can sit on my back. Uh... This man will stop at nothing. Dude. You need to... Hey, Tessa, can you stack up those beer cases and stand on top? Stop. Then I can get on the floor and, um... What? He can't be serious. What are you implying here? At first I thought they were referencing the crate challenge. Which this probably came up before that, actually. But now it's like, what do you want to freaking jump on top of you from one of the crates? Because that sounds like very painful. These characters, man. To be fair, he deserves it. Probably nothing you've heard before, this was their first big breakout role. Oh, really? Maybe she just sounds uh, similar to 
something else then. You know, Sal, you should, uh, Fak is an expert when it comes to dating sim games, so you should definitely ask him all about it. What is two arms and a face but no eyes? Fuck. Hmm. Buddha. What the? <laughs> like the Buddha. He doesn't have eyes? Have you seen his eyes? But he's not blind. No, of course not. He sees all. Okay. Unless you're a big fan of Love Live School Idol Project. Oh yeah, I have all the box set and or volumes of whatever that is. Mop. You guys want to put some water in that bucket and swing it around? That sounds dangerous. Um, Tessa, please not in the store. All right, guess we'll talk to you. What are you so angry about? Why are you here? Well, Ota, um, Date, can I? What a gesture walked over to the corner of the room. They did take over for Tornado Lady after season one of One Punch Man. I haven't really seen much of One Punch Man. Look, I was gonna let you have it, but under the circumstances. What are you talking about? Mizuki, of course. You've been neglecting her. Really? Don't you think she's at her limit? What the heck? I feel like this game is just constantly saying that Date is neglecting and abusing Mizuki, but we never see any of it. Like, I guess you could say that he's not watching her very much, but she's like always all over the place. Mizuki stayed at one of the mermaid's houses last night. Wow. She was twisting and turning all night. They had to sleep in the same bed so she'd calm down. Aww. She called me this morning so I could pick her up. Normally, she'd be in school, but Mizuki had the day off for morning. Aww. I thought that she shouldn't be alone. Why don't you try being nicer to Mizuki? Why, wow, Date, you're not being nice to Mizuki? I know she doesn't show it, but she's really hurting. She needs you, Date. She just doesn't want to trouble you. She's a remarkable, brave young girl. Um, her mom just died and he's done pretty much nothing as her de facto caretaker. Well, we just started chasing after Nyes or oh, whatever it's called. To be fair. I mean, I was saying the whole time, like, is this, like, should we be, like, checking on her or something? But I, every time we talk to her, she's, like, yelling at us. You should try to understand how she feels. I don't know, I just feel like I haven't seen enough interaction between them in general. That it just seems like it's been kind of a weird build up to this. If you're asking me, he's involved in all this, isn't he? Is he the culprit? No, no, no. Did he really kill mom? I mean, yeah, but... No, nah, no. Nah, well... Nah. I guess it's understandable that he'd be a suspect. After mom got killed, he didn't even call. He called me out to Bloom Park for some reason. I thought it was suspicious. But... But... I pretended not to notice. I didn't want to acknowledge it. I wanted to believe in daddy.
Most of the Mizuki interaction is in another route. Okay. I guess I kind of picked the weird one to start off with. Who is Iris to me? A friend? A big sister? And I kind of envy her. No, stop it! It's true, though. I look up to you a lot, Iris. <laughs> your mother she's out right now you're believing in daddy when you should have been believing in date oh uh, i'm not good sure one fact shopping maybe what about iris tessa is my hopes and dreams my peace and my life Light, my star, my sun, my goddess. Please don't call her that. She's like the laws of the universe itself. The embodiment of beauty. Why did Mizuki look more approvingly at Oda while he's saying this nonsense? Well, then she does looking at us. An angel, a lover. Okay. He's got to put on a body pillow. All right. A guru, a wife, a soulmate, life itself. She's the object of my total devotion and worship. Snuck lover and wife in there. I know. I would ignore it. You sure and did. Like I told you before, I'm Tessa's thrall. If she calls for me, I'll be there. Thanks, Ota. I think there's another word for what you are, buddy. That makes me happy. Because Mizuki knows she can punch a hole in his torso. True. I've heard of them. Nizitlos, or Nyes, is a satanic secret society. Like a cult. They sacrifice children. While the sacrifice is up on That's not what story, I heard about. The cult performs ritual acts. Their ranks are full of politicians, intellectuals, and business tycoons. What the heck? This isn't at all what we heard about knives before. I thought it was just computers trying to spread around and they were using humans to do their bidding. They've only been active for a few decades, but some say that they've grown to be the largest secret society in the world. Larger than the Illuminati? An organization so big that it absorbed the Freemasons and the Illuminati. Okay, they just got absorbed. That's funny. Not in the spelling, I can never remember how to say it because whenever I look at it, I'm like, uh. But even though their membership is huge, no one knows who their leaders are. Mizuki's the leader, clearly. Like, you've heard of the Rockefellers and the Rothschilds, right? Oh my god. But for nice. They're really getting into nothing. that stuff? They're nothing. Wait. But for Nyes, there's nothing. That's supposed to be they are, right? Oh, no, no, no. They're saying there's no leader. They can't, they don't know what the, no one the leader knows is. Who's running the cult. I got confused My guess is for that a they're second. being led by a group of super geniuses. They're being led by the super baby geniuses? Oh my god, this truly is the most evil cult of them all. Ota doesn't know about the Wanchen system or its connections to knives. Iris found out which is why they're after her. Pieces fit. If you believe everything she said. Wish they put Rare Replay on PC so I can play me some Banjo and or Kazooie. Yeah. True. Alright Iris, let's get going. I only ever rented Banjo, uh... Brain 64, I never owned any of them. I might have one now, if just from a friend who gave me some of his N64 games. But I didn't have it growing up. You got it. Date, if something happens to Tessa, let me know, okay? Renting N64 games was always interesting because since the game saved on the cartridge most of the time, you would be getting a game that would have like a save like in some random weird point in the game. 
So if you rented a game for like a, a day or two and then you took it back and then you rent it again maybe a couple weeks, a few weeks later or something, it would be at a completely different point in the game. I'll come help right away. Me too! I'll save you no matter what, Iris! Thank you both. Promise me. I promise. Yeah, I heard that Viva Pinata was kind of the one standout game for the post Nintendo Rare. It's supposed to be pretty decent. Alright, one more place to hit up. And Perfect Dark is supposed to be like. I think it's done in the GoldenEye engine, but it's supposed to be like more refined or something. I don't know if I really ever played that one myself. Killer Instinct Gold is okay. I, I preferred the Super Nintendo Killer There's Instinct. There's no one in the garden. Because then you have Thunder. Thunder is my favorite Killer Instinct character. And they took him out of... Uh, gold for some reason which is the second game wait i have detected a living organism in the garden you should look around it's just the bugs again it's a stone luigi giant green blob with four connect they disappear oh never mind that's a plant it's a plant it's a garden lantern I said Garden Lantern, not Harden Lanyard. Okay. I'm aware of that. Yeah. Your favorite character is uh, Jago? Or Jago? Oops. Puyo Pio? Oh, that's what it's referencing. I didn't even catch that. No one is inside. I was wondering what she was referencing. Merman? Where's the merman? Small island is Kojima in Japanese. Oh, really? The director Kojima? He's here? It honestly wouldn't be that weird for him. But he's not there. That's funny. I never knew that. Is that Mr. Bridges? Who? Jeff Bridges? There's the life force. A TJ Combo. I always thought it was kind of unfortunate that his name is Combo. Oh, there they are. Because since his name's Combo and you get a Combo Breaker, it just sounds like it's specifically like breaking Combo himself. Sam Porter Bridges from Death Stranding. Ah. Wait, what? Isn't that the mom? What's she doing there? That's so. Next to him is Hitomi? It looks that way. Why? What's Hitomi doing with so? Date? What's wrong? Wait, you don't notice your mom in the distance? Iris hasn't noticed them yet. I decided to ask her about You said them. you don't know So Sejima, right? Right, I don't. What about your mom? Does she know So? I don't know. I don't think she does. Do you ever talk politics at home? Anything like that? Not particularly. Why are you asking me this? Because she's right over there. Are you more of a veranda or a gazebo person? Um... Good question. You know what's funny? I think the first time I ever heard the room veranda was in Paper Mario and I had no idea what it was because I was pretty little. I was playing Paper Mario and it's just like, oh yeah, they were like, grandpa's out on the veranda so you could go talk to him. And I didn't know where to go because I didn't know what a veranda was. But in that game it was 
I guess it was like a balcony veranda. Two bodyguards dressed in black came running out of the mansion. They had panicked looks on their faces. We told you, you can't come in here. You can't do what you want just because you're a cop. You're trespassing. That's a crime, you know. Get lost. Yeah, but her mom's right over there. No question if they called HQ, we would get arrested for sure. And what would happen to Iris? Who would protect her? Those is a huge organization. They have people everywhere. I can't risk being caught, and I wouldn't be able to save Iris. Fine. Let's go, Iris. Yeah. So we're just gonna go to Mama's. Fire Emblem Three Houses has the best amiibo implementation because it graced the world with the combinations of the word amiibo gazebo. Wow. They have a an amiibo of a gazebo. Or do you go to, to a gazebo in the game to use your amiibos? Where are we going next? Marble, Golden Yokocho. Wasn't that where we were attacked by Nice? There was. It'll be fine. I didn't tell anyone we were going there. They won't be waiting for us. Besides, they wouldn't ambush us in the same place twice. Why not? But why Marble? No reason. I just need to talk to Mama. Just need to talk to hmm? Mama. Oh. Okay. Thought there was gonna be a car segment. Okay, so you do go to the gazebo to use the amiibo. Would have been even funnier if there was just um, an amiibo of a gazebo, and then you use it at the amiibo Sorry, gazebo. No, no. Don't worry about it. Sorry about the macho muscles that I promised you last night. It was better that you didn't. Huh? You didn't hear? There was a shootout right in front of the bar. They closed all of Golden Yokocho down. Does she not feel like, huh? She happened, or uh, Date told me to go outside for Muscle Men and instead it was a shootout. Like, of course, I don't know. Funny to me. They were saying something about hitmen suddenly pulling out guns and shooting. Right. They were trying to kill a man and a woman. Yeah, that was us. Wait a minute. Okay, here we go. Yep. There we go. Connected the dots. This took you a second. Hold on about last night about nice too. Iris. Let me introduce you to Mama's little sister. That's a fridge! Mm. <laughs> You're so mean, Date. Hey, Date! What's today's it special? It says Custard on the board. What is that? I think it's written wrong. It's supposed to be Vernier Thrusters. Vernier Thrusters? Mama, you better order them quicker. We won't be able to control the rocket. I know, I know. Okay. <laughs> I'll have the Vernier thrusters ready tomorrow. I learned to stop worrying and love the bum. I wonder what that is. Any custard sounds very good though. Yeah, I'd try it. Date, you want to watch Hiroka's promotional video? Who? Who? Who is that that she's referencing? Is that like the director of this game or something? Beer. What? What? Don't like beer? Is that supposed to be a joke? You say stuff like that all the time. All she did was yell beer. Uh, want a drink? No, I'm okay. What do you think of mom? No. 
aren't you nice? Are you looking for a job? Iris is still in high school. How about after you graduate? Starting rate is six million yen oh. an hour. Holy crap. Date, I need a body so I can work here immediately. Yeah, no kidding. Mama, what are you doing? Brushing mm, a fish. Just polishing the bonito. Why? Why indeed. <laughs> We're never going to find out why, are we? Sorry for the late introduction. This is Iris. Nice to meet you. I'm Aset. You bet. Oh, sorry. Have it. I meant Iris. Oh my, you are so cute. Are you a virgin? You are. Okay. Right. Well, yeah. What a coincidence. Me too. Oh, yes. Everyone's a virgin. What are you talking about? Who wouldn't want to go to the bar where you get served by a talking gummy bear? I know, right? I think they must be foreign mafia. Some kind of international organization. They would do anything for money. Nice must have hired them. Sorry, honey, but I don't know a thing about that. Mama is the true head of nice. You're an informant. I'm sure you must know something. I'm well versed in local information. I know all about Tokyo's underworld, but I can't say much about the rest of the world. Mama, I want to ask you something. What is it? You explained earlier that the polishing is like part of the cleanup after fermentation, like you're stripping something off the fish. Oh, yeah, I think I do vaguely remember that. Those gunmen were waiting for us. Did you tell anyone we were coming? That's right. You did tell Mama that you were coming. And that you were bringing Iris. Hmm. Well, I did tell one person. Who? The person I was going to have you meet, of course. Same guy who gave Ren his watch. What's his name? Futa, I think. Futa Amanoma. <gasps> what? Is that a name I'm supposed to recognize? What? Wait, that's... No, that's Peter. Silly Dante, his... his not Futa Amamota, he's Peter. That's... Peter. Oh, are we just gonna go straight there? Okay. <laughs> Seems legit. Look, Fac, I'm pretty sure his real name is just Pewter. Like how Prince just had the one name, or like Bono. It's just Pewter. I mean, come on. There's no one here. Maybe he went home. No, that can't be. Pewter is definitely around here somewhere. Date, your intuition is correct. I am detecting a living organism nearby. I knew it. Hmm. It's short for computer. Fuck, you need to stop. You're going too far. I know. This pewter guy must be hiding between the binders. What is he made of paper? Of course he's not in there. Binder full of papers, not pewter though. Before I examine the locker... Of course Pewter is not there. Take this search more seriously. But I like seeing the different things. Is Pewter in here? No, he's not. How do you know? I know. This Pewter guy must be hiding inside the CRT monitor. What is he, a contortionist? Of course he's not in there.
Okay, I think we pretty much... He's hiding inside Iris. Wow, you sure tried, didn't you, buddy? There's that bastard. Doth his real plans to annoy him out of hiding. Wait a minute. Uh, okay, I'll tell you everything. Wow. You didn't last very long, did you? You told those men that Iris and I were going to Golden Yokocho, didn't you? Yes, I did. Renju hired them. Renju did? Which means Mr. Okiura is in with Nyes. Nyes? Don't play dumb. I know you're with them. I don't know what you're talking about. I was just helping Renju. Did you help number 89 get away? How much does she know? Just answer the question. Would be weird if he did, considering the dude was pointing a gun at him. Like, I know he was forced to help him. Yes, I did. It's been bothering me. How was number 89 able to escape from Metro so easily? Because you let him knock you out, even though he was handcuffed, Ate. And you were the one being held hostage. If you were helping him the whole time, it all makes sense. Uh-huh. Two days ago, Renju escaped from the hospital. Renju asked me on the phone to report everything about Shoko's murder case. That's what he wanted. Yesterday, the boss told me that number 89 was coming. Oops. Then, Renju asked, Is I was conflicted. Oops, God damn it! I keep... Uh... Is there any way we could let him escape? I was conflicted. I keep accidentally hitting the uh, apparently L2. Let me see. I thought yep. hard about it. I was like putting my controller down and my like leg was hitting it. It's very sensitive. But it was Renju asking. Someone I love. Oh. And he sounded like he was on death's doorstep. He was begging for help. I couldn't say no. Wait a minute. If you love Renju. And Renju's, was it ex-wife or got murdered? That's a little sus, my dude. With my intelligence, I was quickly able to come up with a plan. You know what the results were. The escape happened exactly how I described earlier. Though I wasn't being threatened with a gun. You really had to count on the fact that uh, Date would get knocked out, though. So I guess you got lucky there, because usually Date deals with groups of people, no problem. You were acting, huh? Just pretending to be his hostage. Wow. Can't believe yes. you could do this. After all we've been through. Did number 89 know about the plan? Of course. We discussed it when we were alone in the interrogation room. Naturally, he agreed. I imagine he would have taken any possibility of escape. Even if we failed, he was already serving a life sentence. Yeah, why was Boss not present? I may not look it, but I have connections high up at HQ. Friends from my college days. I asked one of them to call up the boss. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Oh, it's true. Please, believe me. Renju said that he needed him. That's all I know. Is it true that you were the one who gave Renju his watch? I don't remember that. Yes, that's true. No need to ask anything else. Why did Peter help Renju? His last answer was all I needed to hear. I see. So where is Renju? Even if I knew, why would I tell you? 
Because you don't want more holes in your body than you already have. You can't. Why not? Date, I didn't tell you all this because you were threatening me. I genuinely wanted you to know. To understand. The truth, Date. What are you talking about? There's a variable you haven't considered. I made Iva. Yes. And? You don't get it? Date, his hands! Ow. Oh no, did he... But... Date! You can't do that, we had a code for that. It was, uh... 41205. And then the self-destruct would be allowed to happen. We already set parameters for this. Damn it, Pewter! Date, calm down or it will compromise your ability to drive. True. If you crash, you will not be able to save Iris. Did, wait, did we just leave Iris behind? Where is she? Yeah, where is she? Oh, right, we got knocked out. For some reason, I just thought he ran away. So then where the hell am I going? How would I know that? You acted on your own. What about her phone's GPS? I tried. It's been turned off. That would have been a funny ending if just Tate's head just exploded and then the credits rolled. Then... It's just an extra precaution. Well, of course we knew this was going to come in handy. Thank you, MoMA. Put it somewhere they won't find it. MoMA, you genius. I bought call MoMA now. Uh, hey Black Stepdad, Happy New Year's. Good to see ya. I hope you're having a good start to your 2022. On it. Hey Dante, what's up? Explain the situation as fast as I could. Dasa. Dasa got kidnapped? Dante, you bastard! I know, I know. Yell at me later. Right now, I need you to tell me where she is. God damn it! The short pause moment yelled out. Goto, Ariake, Harbor Warehouse District. The warehouse? That's where the cold storage warehouse is. That's where I saw Iris' dead body. Hmm. Hey, are you listening, asshole? I've got it, thanks. I'm on my way there, too. Well, that's not a good place. All is well, work is busy, the baby is big. Well, that's good to hear. The music sounds like Metal Gear. You're right, that part did, did have some Metal Gear sound to it, didn't it? Like when you get alerted by the guards. Ooh. What the hell's going on here? Speaking of Metal Gear. It's funny because they just referenced uh, Hideo Kojima earlier. Okay. Sub theme. Those are the guys who attacked us at Golden Yoga Show. The mercenaries. We let them get away. I detect more than we can see. They are positioned all over the area, surrounding the warehouse. Armed men. Each of them carries an assault rifle. Getting through will not be an easy task. <sighs> Looks that way. Hmm. Alright, so what are we gonna do?
Oh, this is another armed man. There are portable barricades set up in two areas in front of the warehouse. Portable? They can be moved and erected easily. Tell me we get to shoot that box down. How did you like Metroid Fusion? I had a pretty good time through about 90% of Metroid Fusion and then like there was a couple of things near the very end which uh, gave me some trouble. There is indeed a red barrel back there, isn't there? Alright, but what the heck do I do? They're not giving me any options here. Doesn't let me click on the barrels. Did you inspect the crane? I tried to, but it's not letting me. It just has barricade, armed men, barricade. Armed men. It's not, nothing else is showing up. And we can't move, right? Yeah, we can't move. I'm not seeing a green anything here. It only zooms in the same spot, doesn't it? It doesn't, it's just giving you a general zoom in. Like of whatever item, I mean. Yeah. I'm not sure what I'm missing here. for the van way in the back. Oh, pfft. I couldn't even see that. There's a black van parked at the end of the harbor. Anyone inside? There are two ways to find out. Walk over, knock on the window, and open the door. Or x-ray. Or you can use the x-ray mode. Right. Ah, there she is. That's... It's Iris. Damn it. Is she okay? Unknown. But at least we know she's alive. The issue now is reaching her. Right. Alright, let's do this! Oh, oh boy. They're gonna blow your brains out. You didn't even they bring your guns. men with you? Yeah, not just one or two. They all have assault rifles, and they're everywhere. You can tell? Even in the dark? Have you forgotten that I found out what was inside your safe? <laughs> I have superpowers. I can see in the dark, and I have x-ray vision. Oh, shit, you were serious? <laughs> you were serious about that? Iris is in the van at the end of the harbor. There's two portable barricades on the way there. After I laid it out, I stared into his eyes. We need a plan. Can you help me? Yeah, sure I can. I need to ask you a few things first. That appears to be a military-grained all-terrain vehicle. MoMA, that vehicle, that's one of ours. I got it from the army. It's bulletproof, even the windows. I thought you were trying to run a non-violent gang. 
Huh. Well, that's exactly why. We got rid of our offense, so we needed a little defense. It was just plowed through them. You know what's funny? MoMA's voice actor reminds me a little bit of Mills from Killer7. Just how he pronounces some of his uh, words. I don't know if it is the same actor though. What did you want to ask? The jackoff who took Tessa. Pewter, right? What's his deal? I think Renju asked him to do all of this. Renju? Told him about Renju and Peter's relationship. Oh, that's right. Renju was looking for Tessa. Not only that, in a parallel world, I found Iris's body in an Okiura fishery warehouse. I've got a bad feeling about this. Tessa's in the van down there, right? Yeah. In that case, why don't we go around the back? Unfortunately, that is impossible. The warehouses are flush with the water. The only path to the van is down the front. Wait. The warehouses are flush with the water. Oh no, that reminded me of that Final Fantasy character you told me about back. Where she adds like the in the in the middle of sentences randomly. Shit. Guess it won't be that easy. If only humans could swim. So these bad guys. Why did they take Tessa? The van's at the end of the row. Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse is right there. We must be planning on taking her inside. Right now, they're probably getting it ready. They've got lookouts waiting outside. So, what's the plan? Uh, well... Well, I was coming to plan a car emerge from the darkness. I don't like how mom was smiling in this situation. Dude. Uh, why did you guys show up? Mizuki, oh. Ota. What are you doing here? I just what realized Mizuki's mean? taller you than Ota. Us. What? Well, what's happening? I, sent to both of them. I think I had to set the auto by accident. No, how that happened. Um, Ota's freaking tiny. I just realized. Because he's like in his mid 20s. Mizuki's like 12, I think, and she's taller than him. The poor guy. Why? Wait, yeah, Ibo, why would you do that? Why would you bring Dante, them here? If something happens to Tessa, let me know, okay? I'll save you no matter what, Iris. Promise me. I promise. He's a certified gremlin. So if this had game had come out this uh it must be followed. If this game had come out last year, you could have put him in the in the uh certified gremlin category, right? Do you know what a white lie is? No, I am an AI. You always pull out that excuse when it's convenient. Besides, Mizuki can be very helpful. And Ota? Perhaps he can be used as a shield. <laughs> now that's cruel, even okay. for me. Date, who are the kids? Yeah, that's cute and nice and all, but there's actual people with actual guns. Right. Don't call me a kid. But you are your one. Who's the old man? Don't call me an old man. Side chick my head made the int introductions quickly. So your sixth grade roommate and a knee who's oh. trying to get his light <laughs> novel published? Pretty much. What good are they? You don't look very useful yourself, old man. Oh. Yeah. You're all short and scrawny. Okay, Oda. I don't think you're, you're one to say anything about that. Shut up. I'm not short. The earth is just big. <laughs> That's the best excuse <laughs> I've ever I've ever heard of someone saying that they're not short. I'm not sure the earth is just big. That's pretty good. 
Does Mizuki have superpowers or does she just can lift a ridiculous amount of weight for someone her size? That argument is fallacious. I guess that would be a superpower. Uh, you're right. And you're short too. Right. No way. This isn't even my final form. Ooh. Oh boy. Whoa. What a time. All my joints are folded up. I can get three times bigger than this. Right. Liar. This went on for a bit. Meanwhile, we turn around. There's like 20 people armed with rifles. Thank Listen you, Dante. Up, you idiots. Her superpower is she's 90% muscle. You're here because you're all ASET fans. Really? Water. Wet. Sweat. ASET. Fears. Upset. Regret. ASET. Can it be more that you're her friend than you're her fan? Gambling. Roulette. Bed. ASET. Oh boy. Yes, hey! yes, yes! Did you just shout right nearby the armed people? Oh boy. This is this mission is All doomed, right. isn't it? Let's work together and get our Tessa back! Did I just hear someone say wet sweat ASAP? Yeah! Nah, you must have heard something. This is our time to unite. Let's show them what we're made of. Yeah! Shoulder to shoulder. Heart to heart, we stand. Show no mercy, for you shall receive none. Yeah! Yep, yep, we're, we're all gonna die. It seems they've already become good friends. Iris has extraordinary power. Clearly, Iris must have gotten a hold of, uh... Oh, damn it, what is it called? The, the uh, Yakumo from Killer7. Or at least a part of, a piece of the Yakumo. Which will grant you great... Usually political influence, but like in Almeida's case, it gave him more of like a cult-like status. Good, it's a cult leader. So Iris must have the the Yakuma. Here's the plan. Ota, can you drive that vehicle? It's bulletproof, so don't worry. They can't shoot you. Yes, sir. Moma, I've I need your played Mario for... Kart. Get on the back with me and shoot any gunman you can see. You got it. Mizuki, you're our secret weapon. If it all goes south, we're gonna need your powers. Oh! Leave it to me. Your powers. Hey, I thought Dante, you were joking. What are you gonna have her do? She might not look it, but she's something else. They won't take her down without a fight. You sure about this? Yup. You should worry more about yourself, Moma. So, now you know your jobs. This is how we get through. I'm sure I don't need to tell you, but our objective is to reach the end of the harbor. We need to rescue Iris from that van and then get the hell out of here. Any questions? Nope. All right, let's do this. Yeah, let's lock and load. Mizuki smash. We're coming for you, Tessa. On three, one, two, three, go! Let's be even louder. That'll then we'll sneak up on them real good. Operation Rescue Iris. That's my secret, Date. I'm always disapproving of you. Wait, wait, what's good of it being bulletproof if we're on the outside of it? Not Let's a tank. This. this is not a tank. Kill him! Okay, well. Wait, you're not gonna drive it? Damn, there's too many of them. I don't think my rifle can handle this many. I have to think of something. No kidding. Hey, a barrel. An RE4 red barrel. Mm. 
Shate, I have a plan. Is it a good plan? Just listen. You still have that pornographic magazine, right? Uh. Don't act innocent. <sighs> Last night you we already know that's their the weakness. You found one of those magazines and hid it in your clothes. How did you know? On your left eye, Date. Of course I would know. In any case, throw it at the drum. No. Why not? This is a collector's item. It's SSR. SSR. I'm trying to remember what that means. Super, super rare, maybe? I can't just throw it away. So what is more important to you? Iris or Eros? I don't know what Eros is. Eros. That stand for erotic? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Iris. Good. Hurry. They're closing in. Oh, uh, wait, can't, can't we? Wasted. Oh, didn't expect that type of thing. Take this. I'm glad this is PlayStation controls. If that was Switch, I would what? be, she would have been screwed there. Could it be? The legendary? <sighs> This is amazing! No one back home will believe me! Everybody huddle together and check it out. Alright. You know what to do next. Or do you need Iba to explain it to you? Date, now! You need Iba to explain it to you. <laughs> Now's no time for crying! The drum contains flammable liquids! Do you understand? Fine, I got it. Dude, we're gonna kill these guys. But to be fair, they did try to kill us. Arrows is where the word erotic comes from, a Greek love god specializing in more- Okay, yeah, that does sound familiar, actually. Arrows, gotcha. Specializing in lustful aspects. They're being so gentle with their quote unquote tank. There's still more of them. And no more oil drums to blow up. I'm at my limit here. Wait. You're gonna get out of the car to go deal with them? I'm any ideas? Yes. So Yoi Tota. Let me see. Cupid is the Romanized version of Eros. Mmm. Gotcha. Date, last night, you picked up something else, didn't you? It's interesting how there's always like different versions and variations of gods in like Greek mythology or Nordic mythology. I, I remember hearing like recently how people compare a lot of like comic book heroes as sort of like the modernized versions of like those old mythological stories. And it, it honestly kind of makes sense because if you think about it like, you know, the way that there's like so many different tellings of the characters. I told you, don't act innocent. Uh, I'm talking about Date, you picked God those up. Date. I needed it as evidence. Enough with your pathetic excuses. Just aim under the container. No. Damn it, Date. He's acting like. He's actually like a, a pent up teenager. I was gonna give this to Reika as a gift. Reika. Someone else's underwear? Who's Reika? Is that is that just a girl that he likes at that club or whatever? Wine and underwear are best when aged. That's a famous saying in France. Um. That is not true. Dante, what are you doing? Iris is in trouble! He's too busy thinking about underwear, you see. The Romans in particular loved to assimilate other cultures as a way to sorta 
uh, forcibly gel them into society. Cabaret girl, right? That's what I was thinking. Okay, okay. Just gotta throw it, right? Yeah, throw a piece of underwear like 30 feet. That'll work. What the hell? <laughs> this must be a gift from heaven. Again. So wet. As wet as it gets. Stop. So dirty. Shameless. Absolutely shameless. Okay. Gush, <laughs> There's ten in a nice spot there. Now, if we can cause that container above them to fall. How convenient is it that these I see it. these I guys see it. are just all and have a no self control and they're all shot? incredibly perverted? Yeah. Then let's go. Jumped in the water. Let's go. Roger. Rendu must use the same agency as liquid. <laughs> right. But they even used like the cheapest guys from that same point. unit. Once we get here, then. What's the plan? Find them. My turn. Wait, Mizuki! She's got that metal pipe. Oh, that idiot. Um. Yellow's maybe not the best color since. Apparently really dark. She's gonna be the only visible person. Gate, Mizuki can't do this alone. Okay. Loma, cover me. Hey, wait up. Oh. Okay, these guys, these guys are really up there in worst aim of all time. That should be a category for uh, next year, uh, awards fact. Worst aim. Oh my god. These guys are pathetic. Oh, he's dead. Mizuki! <sighs> what? How did he... Ah, okay. He's using the freaking BB gun from the Christmas story. Hello, online ghost. Category for best goons. Yeah, that could work. My goddess, your chariot has arrived. Oh no, Date, not you too. Date! Okay, Ota. Ota, mission complete. When did you start drifting? All right, got it. In the Jedi Fallen Order game, the 
Oh, there's Peter. I'm surprised they didn't see him. He's kind of glowing neon. Trophy earned the erotic legend. Oh boy. Anyways, uh, the bumbling idiocy of the stormtroopers is perfect. I was thinking them too when I was thinking like bad aim because we all know stormtroopers is a horrible aim. After that, we split up and booked it. Moma got behind the wheel of his vehicle. Oda took the van, and I got into my own car. Mizuki went with Oda, and Iris came with me. We drove off as fast as we could in different directions. The rain poured down endlessly. The neon lights of the city blurred faintly through the fine drops of rain. Ikume Shrine. We decided to stop here again. Date, Moma and Mizuki contacted us. They're all safe. Good. Read the long sigh of relief. You always play interesting games, calming stream honestly. Well, I appreciate that, online ghost. I just hope everyone enjoys it. Yeah, this definitely is an interesting game. That's that's one way to put it. If there's anything else. The music here is really peaceful. Yeah, we better ask if she's okay. Yeah, I'm a lot better actually. Um Sorry, by the way. During our escape, Iris got motion sickness. I decided to pull over at Ikume Shrine so she could rest. Oh, and thank you. I never thanked you for saving me. You should be thanking those three. Some bodyguard I am. I put you in danger. That's not true. If it wasn't for you, I would have... Anyway, there's nothing else to say but thank you. I just realized, are those headphones or not? Because they're actually, they're not covering her ears. And they don't look like they would come down to where they would reach her ears either. Like, they look kind of like just one solid piece. Like, what the heck is she wearing exactly? Is it just like a fancy headband? Nothing in particular. I didn't talk to him at all in the car. What about the group of gangsters? They were all speaking different languages, so I didn't understand anything. Different languages? What is this, the Tower of, of Babel? Do you think the Fruit of Immortality really exists? Legend about the shrine? Yeah. I told you yesterday, I don't believe in that stuff. I see. But you do believe in parallel worlds and secret societies. I know, right? Because I experienced that in Iris' Sami. This could be a negative side effect of the sink. It is possible that you've been emotionally compromised by Iris's morbid inner consciousness. Emotionally? Well, there is no point in discussing this now. Mm. Looking at the iris again? Oh, yeah. I can't see it well in the rain. You must really like that flower. Of course, we share the same name. Iris, Rainbow Yeah, that's why I like Blue Jays so much. Yeah, that's what Uncle taught me. The Uncle again. Perhaps it is not the flower itself that Iris likes. Mmm, good point. What I if it's just uncle. Uh, uncle from Jackie Chan Adventures this whole time she's talking about? Iris, you must find the talismans. Not like romantically. I was 12 at the time. And Uncle was already in a relationship. You mean with your mom? Oh, you knew about that? I've heard a lot. Like the Okonomiyaki incident? <laughs> yeah, the picture I drew. Right. We were always like that. Sword said blue jays are evil birds. How could you say this, Sword? How could you say that about my, my own people? 
I always acted silly and played around and stuff. I remember that in sixth grade, Uncle and I used to play hand games. Like patty cake. Um, like ratty cakes. Oh, sorry. Ratty cakes. Hmm? It's like patty cakes mixed with rock, paper, scissors. What the heck? Ratty cake, ratty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Had it, poke it, fill it with fruit. Put it in the oven. Rock, paper, scissors, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I win, I win, yay! Okay. They knock other birds' eggs out of their nests and replace them with their own to trick other birds into raising their children. Well, it, you know, it seems like everyone wins, you know? And I don't, I don't see the problem. I don't know. I only called him Uncle. Mama called him Falco. Falco? <gasps> You know, I had a feeling. Falco. <laughs> Isn't it a funny name? Sort of weird for a Japanese man. Oh, maybe he wasn't Japanese. Maybe he really liked Star Fox. I never found out where he was from. Before he met me, he committed some terrible crime. It appears that Hitomi and the assassin number 89 were dating. What? Now you have to take the penalty! Up, up, side to side, up, down, pitch! Uh. <laughs> this is why he turned to a life of assassinating. He couldn't take the bullying any longer. And number 89 is with Renju now. What the hell is going on here? I didn't keep my promise. Promise? Did you forget? I told you that I would tell you who my late night visitor was if you went on a date with me. Oh, right. And we went on a date, so guess I'll tell you now. You should have told me in the first place. Sunday at 2 a.m., I was visited by... A ghost. Renju Okira. Really? Iris, what the hell? What? I've been looking for this dude all this time, and you didn't tell me? He seemed really sick. Probably because of his injury. At the time, I had no idea what had happened to him. He was sweating buckets and he came up to me with this begging look in his eyes. He said, come with me. He seemed really desperate. Isn't that just most of your fans? I couldn't say no. Oh. So I got into his rental car. Hmm. We went somewhere, I don't know where, some deserted building. Mr. Okira got out of the car, then grabbed my hand. He tried to pull me inside. I got scared. I pulled my hand away and ran. Yo, what the hell? Mr. Ogira has done so much for me. He took care of me as a kid. He helped me at Lemniscate. I wanted to trust him. No matter what happens, I can't think of him as a bad person. But I mean, he never did anything bad to me. He came to my house at 2 in the morning and tried to take me to an abandoned building, but... You never know. He did take it in a abandoned Maybe building. Maybe he wanted to show me some flowers or something that he found. Or it was like a prank he was filming for the internet or something. And that's what I thought at the time. That's what I kept telling myself. But after hearing everything you've told me, I can't see Mr. Okira the same way. Maybe he's a part of Nice. Maybe he's trying to... Okay, but here's the thing, Iris. You say, oh, I didn't tell you because, you know, I didn't think he was a bad person. 
yet you agreed to tell me just for going on a date. So, Iris, you need to tell us this stuff. This is important. This isn't a game. People are dying. I don't know. I haven't seen him or spoken to him since. Well, I didn't go home. I thought he might come back. I just walked around and went into a bunch of stores. Restaurants, coffee shops, net cafes. I was afraid that he would try to call me, so I turned off my phone, too. Oh, that's why we couldn't get a hold of you. Some people actually, um... Instead of renting like a hotel, they'll stay at a net cafe because it's technically cheaper, even though all you really have is like a chair. I mean, there, there's even some people who live in net cafes. And then at night, around seven, I think. Well, specifically the ones where you have like your own little tiny, like, cubicle. I turned on my phone and got a Nile message from Mizuki. I want to stay at your place. I met up with her and took her home. I think I saw a video on it one time on YouTube. I thought having her around would comfort me. I don't know. Iris, I need you to tell me one thing. I was scared of this man who was trying to kidnap me, so I took your 12-year-old roommate to hang out with. Where did Renju take you? Where did he take you exactly? It's been closed for eight years. Oh, finally, not a six years ago thing. The chemical plant in the Kawasaki district. The chemical plant. What is this, Sonic? I guess we're going there. Alright, so you really should have told us this a lot sooner. I guess Mizuki is a special case, but still. Is this the place? Yes. Where did Renju try to take you? That door in the back. Wait, is this the place that we saw in the dream? In uh, the mayor or whatever he is, the political guys? I would trust Mizuki to protect me. the hell was that? A freaking portal? What is this? Stargate? This is... A sink machine. Oh, it must be the sink machine that, uh... The prototype. It went missing or something, right? Though it appears to be slightly different than the one in Abyss. Hmm. Could this be the prototype Peter was talking about? I forgot if it went missing or if they the just Chiba never finished police it. Department was working on a right, it got stolen, it was stolen six, six years, years ago. But what is it doing here? Hey, Iris, are you okay? Nope. He's just taking a nap. Iris, stay with me! Date, Iris's vital signs are going critical. That's unchill. What? Why? Unknown, but I believe the issue is with her brain. Uh-oh. Her brain? Part of her brain is experiencing massive failure. If this continues... Let's get her to a hospital. Impossible. You do not have enough time. Oh, are we gonna sync with her to try to go in and fix whatever's going wrong? I estimate that Iris's brain can last only 10 to 15 more minutes before the damage is irreparable. How do you know that? I have scanned and analyzed her thoroughly. Her symptoms indicate that she will die within minutes. What? Oh no. Sync. What? I'll use the sync machine here to go inside her brain. That will not cure her condition. I'm not trying to cure her. Two days ago, I saw her dead body. After that, we went to Sosajima's brain. And in his somnium, I saved Iris. I saw his I saved Iris, I saved and then it shows Iba kicking the dude. Maybe you were in a parallel world or something. 
do the same thing again. You think you can save her? Well, with that logic, wouldn't they just be abandoning the Cyrus to die and they're just hopping onto another parallel world where she's alive still? Yes. Ivan, please help me. Is that an order? Yes. Then I suppose I have no choice. My mission is to support you. All right. We don't have a lot of time. Let's get moving. All right, cool. I didn't. I didn't think we were gonna get to another sink this quickly. Date, this device is a prototype. It is not a. You said that already. Right. So what? I did it again. It's not identical to the one at Ivan's. We do not know how to reset it. There must be a manual of some kind. We need to find that before we begin. Oh great. I look at tires. The machine can be activated, but we need the manual first. Shelf C. A vice? Oh, like a vice. I just realized if you say vice, it sounds like you're saying vase with an Australian accent. Vice. Yeah, that could be in the instructions. The big old book. Oh, manual. <laughs> there we go. Or vice. Oh yeah, true. I don't believe it. Grimoire vice. Scuba diving. Shovel oh God! Again? I know that's what I was gonna say. This looks kind of like the other time I synced with Iris, but there's a different atmosphere now. Oh no! It's got like the text all over the ground and floor. Like it's LSD Dream Emulator. Hmm. By the way, what happened to your usual appearance? I decided to hold back this time. This is no time to be playing around. What do you mean? This is... How she looked last time. Putting that aside, you want to help Iris, correct? Then we need to hurry. So what do we need to do? Care to ask the owner of this world? Ah. It doesn't look comfortable. She's lost consciousness, even in her own somnium. Looks like she's uh, being prepared for a sacrifice. That proves how critical her condition is. Whoa. Okay. Oh, the fruit. What was that? Thank you, Yu-Gi-Oh. I do not know, but it appears as though we have no choice but to believe those words. The fruit of immortality, huh? But I don't see any fruit. 
We need to do something about this beam of light first. Well, it's supposed to be inside of the shrine, right? I've seen right? that monument before, but back then... Somnium scan! Activate! In this Somnium, you have to kill a bunch of Colossi to resurrect her? Oh boy. Oh no. This place is corrupted. Pentalock too? Where was the first one? Did I miss something? There's three. Four. Do something about the beam of light. Well, let's see where it leads us to. I saw this iris during the previous sink. As I said before, if you want- It's a flower. Are you telling me you can't pluck it with your hands? You did not have to be insulting. Surprised they're not making me mash any buttons. Did I get it? It doesn't seem like the tool was the problem. I am relieved that I don't have to dig anymore. Don't speak too soon. Be ready to go whenever. Flortex says, it looks like there's just a lot of characters. Um, what? What the hell? I know what that is. It's the man that everyone sees in their dreams, which is like this. Wow, that's, I did not expect to see that. That's so weird. Every time there's a this man. yeah, it's this man. Every time you go into a dream in a game, I wonder if that guy was to ever appear. So that's interesting. You know him? Yes, he is a mysterious figure that has appeared in numerous unrelated people's dreams. In other words, an urban legend of sorts. That's funny. I haven't seen that picture in years. You didn't see this guy in Iris's first Somnium? No, I didn't. You know a lot about Unless I did, and I didn't really, like, I subconsciously recognized it. Because I swear, like, I thought about that guy one of the last times I was playing, but I don't remember seeing him. There are many theories. Some believe that he is made up, a conspiracy, or a part of some kind of experiment. Another theory is that an actual person dove into other people's dreams. If you're interested, I can tell you more. No, I don't think we have time for that. Funny that you would appear there of all places. A monument is placed on top of the pedestal. I thought it was almond tofu on top of a rice cake. This is the same monument we saw before. Can you move it? I can try. I cannot move it. But we'll probably need it for something. That is a high possibility. So we need... Like a tool or something. I am horribly reading maps. Iris is a... I doubt she's going to wake up. Can you hear me? Where is the fruit of immortality? No use. We are draining Iris's stamina and our time. So we should be doing something else then. Is 
There's a free block behind Iris. I don't know what you mean by a free block. You don't mean this. Well, because this I figured we need to put it on another thing, but we can't even move that one yet. So I, I figured that it wasn't time to get this yet. An egg-shaped monument. It looks more like a sugar cube to me. Okay, um... I'm bad at guessing things, because I figured we would have to do something with the other one first before we move this. I see. Putting this here cuts off the light. I feel like I've seen this in a movie. Indiana Jones? Don't you mean you've seen this in Iris's Somnium? Just put it down. Or Raiders of the Last Ark, which didn't have Indiana Jones in the title originally, from what I remember. Huh? I didn't expect that. Oh, now we can make it like a star. No, this is... Did you figure something out? Uh-huh. This might turn into a pentagram. Oh, I get it. That means... Yes, that leaves this remaining. Okay. Well, we, we weren't able to do anything here. A Stick your hand in it. Okay, um... This must be a different one from the other one. Let me see. Hmm, there's something here. Oh! Oh, there it is. A monument. If you place it against the light, it will complete the pentagram. Do it. What? Well, UFOs back and Shumagura. They have appeared before. It may symbolize Iris's insecurities. Oh, okay. That's chill. We have to deal with them before we find the fruit of immortality. Well, what do you want me to do? They don't want us to complete the pentagram. I don't think we've we've broken a single lock yet. Have Is that we? why they attacked the Chozuya and Irises? But this pedestal has not been attacked. They cannot attack it for some reason. You think so? What other explanation could there be? As long as there is even a slight possibility, we must try. You're right. Thinking about what worked previously, we need to make a pentagram. But the attack has scrambled everything. We do not have time for trial and error. Think carefully. But, but the whole point of these are trial and error. You can't say, tell me that. Trying to pick a different timey, but whatever. Where would you like me to place it? <sighs> a pedestal with nothing on. Well, one out of nine is better than one out of eight, but we still wasted it. Not using it. That's what I meant to do. Trying to lighten the mood. I appreciate the thought, but. Oh. Okay. Um. But that didn't really help us. Did it? A pedestal with a mo A pedestal with nothing on. Damn it! Now I don't know if I was supposed to put that egg somewhere else. A million pedestals here. How the hell am I? Oh, here's something else. An egg-shaped monument. Understood. Where would you like me to place? I have no 
idea. There's there's a million things here. Maybe on the opposite end of that, but that doesn't work. There is no opposite. A guardian. Sure, why not? Understood. The light. The pentagram is complete. It is. The sure as hell don't look like it to me. Is complete. Dude, that was not anywhere close to a pen the pentagram. Must be incorrect. The lines of the pentagram must form the golden ratio. You cannot call it a true pentagram if the shape is broken. At the very least, the placement needs to be symmetrical. Got it. I'll try again. I can't read this damn map. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Okay, well... An egg shape. Understood. Where would you like me to place it? I mean, if it needs to be symmetrical... There's one there, then there needs to be one on the other side of it. A pedestal with Understood. Okay, that's cool. Huh? It doesn't seem like Well, I don't know any other yellow spot besides this one then, so I didn't use the freaking timey again, didn't I? Wait, what the hell? I wasn't ready. I didn't. Pentagram is complete. It didn't let me move the blue one yet. I wasn't even. It didn't even let me move the blue one. So how the hell? I'm looking right at the chat, guys. I, I know I'm supposed to make a star, but it wasn't even letting me move the damn... A guardian. Like, okay, the dog was just... Why did the yellow one come off, but the blue one didn't? Where would you like me to... That doesn't make any sense. Because that was the whole point, is that there's an egg there, so I was putting one across from it so it would be symmetrical. There. Okay. Of course. How does that make sense? It went through. It's blue. It's literally blue and I'm holding a blue egg. And it needs to be symmetrical for that. So, I don't get it. But then, is there, is there another blue egg I'm missing? must be another blue egg I'm missing. Because if that went there, then I need a dark blue egg to go here. But I don't know where it, it is. I don't suppose this could summon... Apparently that's peak. A guardian dog. Right. But what did you nothing? I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about either. Something is strange. 
mean, is it even a guardian dog? There is a possibility that this is the result of a bug. Pug? I am not talking about the breed. Why are you making this so difficult? You're the one making this difficult. Okay, that didn't help at all. Oh, you can move the red ones. Okay, I thought that those ones were already placed where they needed to be. Alright, good. Okay, let's do this again. Well, here's the thing. I put the yellow one down the first time, and then I put the blue one down. And then the laser went off, and that's what confused me. That's... The red is there, so then the blue would go... So that one matches that one, but this red must need to move since I can't put blocks on the glitched out ones. But where's another spot I could move this red? Oh, over there. Yup, yup, okay, so that's there already, that's there already. Everything is symmetrical now, I think, so we just need to put the yellow... Pentagram's complete. What? The world is... It's breaking down. And I think we still have two more locks to do. So hopefully we have enough time. That's the thing that mainly, mainly scares me about these things is if you really kind of screwed already and you The Shovel Forge world disappeared. I am back to my usual appearance. What about Iris? Having to like restart from the beginning. It appears that she is unharmed. Give the proof of the Toki Jiku no Kaku, for you shall then be blessed with eternal life. 
Iba, the door to the shrine opened. Is that the fruit of immortality? It appears Looks to more be like a seed a bead. of a citrus fruit of some kind. A bead, I mean a bean. Like a lima bean or something. But we need the actual fruit. Sinking with someone suffering from severe brain damage wasn't the best idea. That voice yeah. said something about the fruit of immortality. I wasn't expecting it to be literal. Some believe that the fruit of immortality is Oh, she teleported there. Good. That saves us some time. The Tachibana orange comes from a variety of evergreen trees. So we are looking for some kind of fruit. Fruits have edible flesh surrounding the seeds. Right. But if we only had the seed... We gotta plant it. This is a dream world. If we plant it now, it may grow quickly. Iba, you ready to slash and burn? I see. If we plant it there... Oh, good. They're doing everything for me. Sweet. It sprouted. This must be a positive sign. We need to water it, though, probably. If the ashes is compost, then all we need is... Where the irises were. Need water. Ah, well. It's a Chozuya. Why is it not broken? Ooh, dig costs a lot, so that must be the right option. Unless they're gonna screw me over. Hey, Kiko, what's up? So let's see. This is not the Shovel Forge world, correct? But there's a pickaxe on the ground there. Pickaxe? Oh, I thought they meant like dig water, like scoop. Like, You're like get right. a scoop of water. But why? Maybe Iris left it behind because she wanted you to use it. Perhaps. I'll use it. It is your arch nemesis, Eco 2. Or Kilko 2. I didn't realize I had an arch nemesis. What does he do instead of game reviews and, and uh, stream game streams? Okay. And now it's raining. It's raining. Sure. That makes sense. So this is the fruit of immortality. Dude, it's the fruit from that Dragon Ball Z movie where they we eat the fruit. We need to hand this over to Iris. Right. Hurry. Wait for me, Iris. I'm coming. Hey, that was fast. I almost saw Spider-Man No Way Home again because I'm right near the Chinese theater, but I decided against it. Hey, it was it was really good. That was honestly a, like a really cool theater experience. Um, where is Iris at? Oh, there she is. Iris is unconscious. Give fruit of immortality. Hey, I could just drop it down to like 10 seconds. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Oh, you missed 10 minutes? What part did you miss? Well, actually, well, don't spoil it in case it's spoilers, because I don't know who's seen it or not seen it. But, uh. Oh, you spoiled it! That was actually kind of a sick part in the movie, that's unfortunate. I can't believe you spoiled that Electra was played by Stan Lee. Cut right to him trapping all the villains and then got the epic meme scene. 
Well, I'm, I'm glad you, you came back for that because when I saw that in theaters, I was like, did they really just do that? That caught me off guard. <laughs> I'm something of a J play myself. We saved her from her brain damage. I think. Maybe. I don't know. Dude, we did that with 82 seconds remaining. Not bad. Is everyone proud of me? And we only failed once because I didn't know what the heck I was doing at first with that, uh, star puzzle. So Keikiko, I don't think anything will top me heading to the bathroom during the car ride to homecoming scene from homecoming. Oh no, fuck. Oh. That was such a good twist. I, I, I actually saw homecoming like either the day it premiered or the day after or whatever. Everyone in the theater was like, what? That's unfortunate. That's why I just refuse to use the bathroom when I when I see a movie. I just hold it. What is this anime game? Is this JoJo Part 9? That's exactly what it is. And Sword is proud of me. Thank you, Sword. I appreciate it. At least someone appreciates Is she missing an eye? Oh, good. You're awake. Or was she just crying out of one eye? What the hell? Thank you for everything you've done for me. I can't tell if that's blood. It is blood, isn't it? What the hell happened? Huh? What are you talking about? He's, he seems to not be acknowledging it. I'm gonna die, aren't I? No, I just saved you. No. Don't talk crazy. Uh, Kiko said, I make a habit of to never leave the theater to pee, but I was like five beers deep. Oh, uh, yeah. Happens. I synced with you to save you. This has to be the timeline where you live. I don't want to die yet. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Date had to take it out to do the sink? How did I miss that? What the heck? I don't remember them discussing that. Are you serious? I, I met you. I wanted to spend more time with you. I wanted to go places. Can't you just get her own Iba? I'll take you. He's so happy. I'll take you wherever you want. I'll take you to Ijuru, Kunishir, Shikaton, Habamai. Anywhere you want, Iris. I'll take you really? to the Mushroom Kingdom. Yes. I I'm gonna be okay. Of course you are. Of course. You won't die, I promise. Okay. I'm glad. They didn't discuss it. He just read the manual, looked shocked, and then removed her eye. That's so weird that, like... it's It was either such a small, quick moment that I completely missed it, or... It's weird. I, I can understand if that's how the prototype works. I just wish they would have emphasized that more. Because my assumption was like, oh, they stole her eye while she was while we were sinking or I can something. Be with you forever. Of course you can. You're gonna live, Iris, forever and ever. Oh yeah, she did eat the fruit of immortality after all. You'll become a grown woman, get married, have kids. I'll even babysit them for you. Daddy, thank you. These past few days have been so much fun. Thank you Please, for. Please, Mr. Dante, you can't oh, leave me. Oh boy. I really liked blackmailing you that one time. Your back is so warm, Mr. Dante. It feels like I've met you before. You must be imagining things. Then go on a date with me. And the Greek goddess of rainbows.
You're the only person I can trust. Well, luckily they just had finished rigging a uh, Iris VTuber model. So Daddy! she can be replaced indefinitely. She really will live forever in that sense. Put it in the oven. Rock, paper, Date wasn't scissors, there for that. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. They can't flash back to that. Knife and Pigeon is the pre-evolution of Sword and Penguin introduced in Gen 8. Dagger and Puffin. Well, I think she may be napping. You can't die. Please, Iris. Iris. <sighs> Iris! Well, you're not a very good bodyguard, are you, buddy? They did some weird stuff with Iris to tease the game before it was revealed that was kind of VTuber-y. Oh, really? Did they have like an Iris, like, Twitch YouTube channel? Whoa, that's the ending, okay. Cool. I did not, I did not expect that. I guess that makes sense though, on account of Iris taking a, uh, a long nap at the end, but, uh, wow, we beat the game. So what, as Kiko, since you've been here for the whole playthrough, what did you think of the ending? What do you think about the game as a whole? Give your, your full review. It's probably a good time to break for Walter time. Well, I actually don't have Walter time today because my, my mom isn't going into work tonight. Um, so... I could wrap up now, or I could play some more. Uh, I don't really have context on what, how long things are going to take or like what the pacing is going to be since we've just got an ending right now. Kiko said, A tour de force. I laughed. I cried. I barked. My nerdgasm was immense. Okay, alright. Alright, Kiko. Look, I knew you were a big A-set Iris fan, but... Let's just cool your jets there a bit there, buddy. This game was the voice of a generation. Well... I guess you got a point there. These are all the Japanese voice actors, aren't they? Uh, after your first ending, you're probably a third of the way through. Oof, we're only a third of the way through the game? I thought that you said this was the same length as Bug Fables. Jay, what's the monkey from Quartz named Babos? The most beautiful Pokemon in existence? Now I'll have you know, I did Bug Fables in seven streams. And this is my fourth stream of this game, therefore I should be more than halfway through? Or else, that was a lie. This was the most epic game in the world Until that lady got her eyeball torn out and she died Then it got sad Wow I'm glad that it's not like the actual ending because that seemed like really abrupt like suddenly Her having a brain 
problem and then did. You're going slow. Okay, Bug Fables was not 35 to 40 hours. I will have you know. Because if this, if this game is actually like around 40 hours, I'm probably going to have to take longer breaks. I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep playing it that consistently, if it's going to take that long, to be honest. I honestly didn't expect it to be that long. Let me, let me see something real quick. Let's see, my last stream of this was four and a half hours. I did a three and a half hour and then another four and a half hour stream. Yeah, so I mean, I'm, I'm playing, the streams have been just as long as my Bug Fable streams were. So, I don't think I've been playing particularly slow at all. I think maybe the game's just a little bit longer than you had realized. Because I did, like I said, I did Bug Fables in seven streams with about the same length of streams. I feel like it would be hard to go slow in this game too. Considering you basically just go through all the dialogue until uh, until it's it's over. Ah, now we have like a flow chart. I see. There's still mysteries left unsolved. The real culprit, the Ennis, the incident six years ago, and Date's past. The story's branching points are insomnia. Use the flow chart to jump to a branching point in insomnia. Excuse me, it may be hidden somewhere in the dream world. Find a new way forward. Um Wait, are we are we meant to actually investigate ourselves and try to find where the branching paths are or are we actually given a hint? Oh, right here it's showing us, right? That there is actually a branching path right here. Okay, um, well, I guess if we can start right at the sink, maybe we could do a branch, one of the branching paths, and then we can call it a night, maybe. But there's only two branching paths, right? Oh, that's weird that it like comes back up right here. Because I see one here and one here. So... Alright, I guess we do this then. But they don't make it so it's like... The path you took already is impossible to get. You like have to actively try to remember or figure out what you did before and then you have to search out what the other path is I'm just gonna skip all this it's so weird it's like the first time I played this Alright, so I remember we pulled this out. Right. And then I think we went in here. I see two bird cages. It's a binary choice, so it's not hard to go back if you chose wrong. 
Well, I don't know about the the first time we went into the Shovel Forge dream. I did there it, there was no binary choice because you were saying you either have to listen to the streamer Iris or the conspiracy Iris, and they were both saying the same thing the whole time. So I actually have no idea. Here I remember, I picked the balloons last time. What I'm more concerned about is the shovel forge the thing. Cage. Cause uh there was no at no point was there a A or B choice. I was just following what I had to do. Alright, I can't remember if we lifted our tackle boots last time. I'll just try lifting it first. All right, we. There we go. It is heavier. Nothing happened. All I did was move the cage. There are torn pieces of paper. Okay, so this is new. Five minutes. So we can kick away, piece together. Yeah, let's piece together. I wonder what it is. Done. What the heck? But they're anime characters. So this time maybe she's gonna like just start talking to us right away because we did something more preferable to, to her. Out? I remember it clearly. One day I came home to find that photo torn up in the trash can. When I asked Mizuki about it, she started to cry. Don't know why she tore up that photo. Whatever her reason, it seems like she regrets it. Since we repaired the photo in Somnium, the bird cage. Mizuki must be having a hard time. But the cage is gone. We can get to Mizuki now. Do you not see the horses spinning at hurricane speeds? Uh, you can do it if you try a little. No, you can't. All right, fine. We have to stop the spinning. I believe to stop the spinning, we had to interact with like a panda head or something. Is this it? The panda head is spinning. Oh, it's different now. Before it was like a big floating head. Spin more. Um, let's try stop. Wait, let's not. Can I not use a timing? Can I the panda head. Is this one actually doesn't? Why? Whoops! I shouldn't have skipped that. I forgot we haven't seen it yet. Worked though. I see. These that was way more worked. straightforward than the floating panda head. That's right. But you had to like kick it or something. Although I have kind of seen this before. Okay. Agent Date, you've got four minutes. Plenty of time. I've got time. Enter the Incredibles meme. Hug her, slap her, smile at her, make her laugh. Let's give her a nice hug. Mizuki. I guess Ghost Rider lost his bike. Did we see that last time? I think we did, I just forgot about it. Oh, we didn't see that guy last time? Okay, never mind.
But that was the same blue guy inside of the mayor's dream, right? Last time you find Iris's corpse. Oh. I'm assuming she's gonna start talk stuck uh blah blah. She's going to start talking to us now. Are you okay? Date. Date! <laughs> Man, we didn't like even see the boss again. near the end of the last uh Timeline or whatever. Blue Man Group is the generic person model for Somnium when they don't want to reveal who it is. Okay. Asked her about last night, the Nile message about Ota, about Shoko. I know that after Ota ran off, something must have happened and made Mizuki want to hide. What if J reviews had waves? What is what is up with that meme? Why are they giving everyone waves? They need to calm down. What if Vince Gilligan had I waves? Hit over the head with that. What? Well, thanks. Where did that come from? She's still mean to us. Date, look, it's a brown tube. Brown tube. Brown. Round two. Inventor of the cathode ray tube. I can't get my head around that one. Some people are obsessed with these. It's a brown tube in Minecraft. Indigenous jewelry from New Guinea. I think this is called a Koteca. So I could skip all this, right? Because I've already heard him talk about it. Yeah, let's get with that. But that figure I saw, that's new. Kiko, doesn't this look like a Pokemon oh, villain? That. This dude? And his name's even Pewter? I saw it too. Who or what do you think it was? Hmm. Most likely someone Mizuki saw in person projected into her subconscious. Dreams can only be constructed from images and experiences the subject was present for. Mizuki's Somnium couldn't have contained that figure if she didn't see it in person. That sounds really false. I've definitely had dreams about people I've never seen in person. Of course, not everything we see in our dreams looks exactly the same as it did in the real world. You saw some strange things in Somnium earlier, didn't you, Dante? That event you experienced is obviously not as it happened in reality. Kiko, you can't, you can't do this. Or what if Walter White had waves? He wouldn't even have to erase hair. All he has to do is add the waves. Dreams are a collage of many memories, intertwining and blending with each other. Your skills as a sinker allow you to untangle them. I think he's already talked about that. Uh, who do you think the suspect is? Peter, who do you th Well, let's see, perhaps... It was you, Special Agent Dati. How'd you know? What? <laughs> hey, Peter. When we were in Somnium, she's never looked like that before. That? All right, yeah, we've already seen this. How are you doing? I told you I'm fine. Oh, she's actually so talking annoying. to us. I annoyed you already, huh? The pressure is annoying. What pressure? Force over area measured in Pascal's dummy. That's rude. I see she is back to her usual self. Her attitude is within normal parameters. I think I liked her better when she was silent. <laughs> you say that now. Say Mizuki. But before you were Who's desperate. That figure I saw? What? 
Insomnia in your dream. I saw a silhouette. Date, Mizuki would not understand the question. She does not experience Somnium as you do. You are witnessing a dream inside her brain. Never mind. Did you see anyone at the merry-go-round the night you found Shoko? I did. I saw someone in the corner past the merry-go-round. Who did you see? I don't know. It was dark and raining. They looked scary, so I hid inside the merry-go-round. The door was open a little bit, so I snuck in. Why not show her an image on the computer then? Good point. I just asked him, we'll see if he does it. Oh god, Kiko. If you cause this to be a thing that happens... I... I can't tell you. Why can't you tell me? I already know it was Renju. Why not? Because I don't want to. I've already played That's one timeline. You were at the scene of the crime because of that Nile message. Whoever sent it to you is a prime suspect. I don't think she is going to answer. When she is in a mood, it's impossible she's to She's in a talk. mood? What if Bogdan had waves? Stop. Dude, you're... What if Mike Ehrmantraut had waves? That's the kind of girl she is. <sighs> Sometimes I think you know her better than I do. How long do you think I've been observing? Oh, Walter. You're just jealous because you can't have waves like mine. Mike, stop. Please stop bullying me. I'm sorry, Walter. My waves are just too powerful. It's been four years now. Bogdan is the name of Walter's boss when he he used to work at a at a uh, car wash in the in like the first episode before he ends, you know starts cooking drugs and stuff. He works at a car wash as a side job from his school teaching to make ends meet. Correct. And his boss is named Bogdan. Like? Actually, never mind. Some but I think Bogdan is also the name of like a planet in Star Wars or something, or it's like a species. By the way, we already looked into Mizuki's cell phone. Unfortunately, the contents were wiped. Right. I'm tracing the sender of the Nile message through other means. Sure you are, Pewter. You're definitely not going to betray us I'm later. I'm now, but I didn't forget your promise. A promise? Sushi? You said you'd take me. Ooh. Hey, the, I happened to tell her to, that I was going to take her to Sushi. So you heard the hearing should still be intact. Sure, Mizuki. When we're all done here. Oh, I'm surprised the game remembered that. Last night she saw her mother. She saw what no kid should ever see. I guess we don't need to examine hey, everything anymore. I pop this cherry. Don't say that. Date, you sounded quite proud of that pun. Perhaps you'd like to repeat it? Uh, no thanks. It's not the same as the first time. Uh Right, there was So here we've why? already Talking about everything. Oh wait, she's talking now. The only thing I could think was I had to get it out. So you panicked and pulled it out. Yeah. And you held on to it when you hid in the column. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's why we figured she pulled the ice pick out. She's also lying in the chair. She d does know who sent that message. I know, that's what I was thinking. Oh, you're making another pun. You're gonna get your dues one day, Fack. And all those puns you've ever made, you're gonna pay. No need to report specifics. We saw it all from here on the control room. What the sinker sees in Somni. Anyway. Thoughts on the suspect. How would I know? Continue. About the ice pick. I'm 
pretty sure it wasn't. Oh, was her eyeball on there? It wasn't. The eye socket was empty. Yeah. Oh. Oh, well, now that we know that that's how the other sink works, you need the left eye. Now we know it's why there's these eyes getting pulled out. That just clicked with me right now. They pulled out Shoku's eye so they could sink with her. Someone sink with her. And they must have also pulled out, um, we, uh, Date must have had his eye pulled out six years ago to be synced with him. Or maybe he was using it to, to sync with someone before he lost his memory. Thank you, Mizuki. That was very helpful. I hadn't thought of that until I saw the mom with the missing eyeball again right now. Boss shines in moments like this. She doesn't hesitate to ask anything. Now we know that Mizuki did not remove the victim's eye. When we got to the scene, it was definitely missing. And it has not yet been recovered. We can therefore conclude it has been removed from the scene. Yeah, I'm glad she's talking again. You healed the wounds in her heart by sinking with her. Well, you meaning you and well, I- Well, you didn't pick the balloons. Now the she's here. The boss has extraordinary perception. I deserve much of the credit for helping Mizuki recover her voice. All you did was follow my instructions. Date, Mizuki needs you. Protect her. Uh, yeah, Mizuki's voice anyway, actress does do story. a good job. Mizuki witnessed a suspicious person at the scene, but she didn't get a good look at them. Maybe there's something at the scene we missed. Date, could you return to the scene of the crime? There might be more to Bloom Park than we first thought. That's gotta be like the most visited spot in the game at this point. Alright. I guess because I don't know when the next sink's going to come up. It might take a while. I'll, we might just play till the four hour mark, which is about in an hour. And then we could probably wrap up then just so we try to get like a decent amount of progress. We brought Mizuki with us. That's kind of sus. Saw a suspicious figure in Somnium, but it couldn't be sure of his exact location. Brought Mizuki along to help. Somewhere around out. here, right? Yep. Are you cold? What do you care? Wow. You never cared about me ever. And I liked it that way. I don't want you getting close to me. You think I like you now because I hugged you after the sink? Did you think, aw, how sweet she likes me? Don't get it twisted. I only hugged you because you were standing right in front of me. Could have been anything. Could have been a pole or cactus. In fact, I wish it were a cactus. So stop worrying about me, okay? So she says. He's so mean. What did I ever do to you? Figure went that way. Alright, Mizuki. If you don't want me to care about you, then I want my bed back and you could sleep on the couch. How about... How about that, huh? if there's anything she would comment on doesn't look like it all right do you remember anything yeah i do what do you remember the only thing that's blooming here is crime. i went to this amusement park when i was little i was four i remember it so clearly this is where i saw my mom and dad smile the fact that that's a, a specific memory, a little sad. I had so many happy memories here. The only happy memories I really have are from here. Wow. Ugh, that's messed up. Sorry, I was like yawning and stretching. <laughs> so the only happy memory she ever had was here. And then this is where she finds her mom murdered, which her freaking dad texted her to go to. That's so messed up. Memories of my family are so bright and colorful but now this is where mom
What's wrong? What could possibly Nothing. be the problem? Just wondering where this goes. Maybe we should follow. Oh, I didn't get to ask about the figure. All right. Iba, what's past here? This leads to the subway. The subway? It has, of course, closed down. I'm talking it about no the sandwich shop. This is due to the explosion at the chemical plant that occurred years ago. The chemical plant? The surrounding district of Kawasaki was contaminated. Wow, I don't even think we heard about the chemical plant in the last path until like the end of the game. Bloom Park closed for the same reason, as did all commerce and industry in Kawasaki. This means the railroads and public transportation to and from this area were shut down as well. The subway. Iba, does the entire track run underground? No. The track leading northward from Bloom Park eventually rises to ground level. At a railroad crossing? Correct. Then the tracks must cross a surface street at some point. Correct. Iba, do me a favor. Can you see if any cars were driving on that surface street last night? Searching. Hey, you've been quiet for a long time. Are you okay? I'm just thinking. I've got something. I picked up a single vehicle traversing that street last night. A black SUV. I ran the plate through the vehicle registration database to find the owner. Who was it? Shoko Nadami's ex-husband and Mizuki's father. Renju Okiura. I think they vaguely mentioned it when Iris asked if it was safe to come here after so the contamination. So let me get this straight. Oh yeah, I do remember that. You think that Daddy drove his car on the tracks through the tunnel? That's like way at the start of the game. Stopped at the closed down station and carried Mom's body to the park? I can't prove it was Renju. There's a chance someone else was driving the car. Yeah. Yeah. But, in any case... I know that the suspect must have used subway tracks. That explains why there were no cars parked near the scene. Using that subway station, you could take the body right to the merry-go-round without being caught on camera. Daddy didn't do it! I am not so certain. Either way, I have to talk to Renji. Oh, your dad didn't do it, huh? Well, remind me again who texted you to come to this place? I, I can't tell you. And you can help me find him. Yeah, Mizuki, you're just gonna have to accept the facts. So I'm guessing on this, this uh, fork in the road, we're, we're hanging out with Mizuki most of the time instead of uh, Iris. Because we were hanging out with Iris a lot. Yeah, she doesn't really comment on stuff like Iris does though. We're like getting nothing from her. I think about a week ago. When I went to hang out at Lemnus Gate. Did you notice anything different about him? Nothing really. He was the same as usual. And he didn't come to see you in the hospital, did he? No. Not even for his own daughter. That is very unusual. I don't want to say anything. Okay. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to anyone who thinks my daddy is a killer. Well, geez. Look, I don't want to believe it either. It's weird how she'll answer some questions and then other ones she's known for more really, than five years now. Really offensive about it. He's like family to me. I never want to put cuffs on him. I would never want Mizuki to see that. Anyway, Rendu just isn't the kind of guy who would commit a crime like this. He would only be on lookout while other people commit crimes like this. Mizuki, Renju sent you that Nile message, didn't he? Ooh. What? I got this buddy of mine. Real bad personality, but real good with technology. I got some help from them. Bad personality? <laughs> it was a message sent at 8.05 last night. Does it sound familiar? Mizuki, daddy got caught up in something serious. Please come to Bloom Park's merry-go-round right away. Daddy needs your help. Please do as I say. Yeah, that was it. It was from Daddy's phone. 
But I didn't want to say anything because that would make Daddy a suspect, so... So you kept quiet. Yeah. My dad's never said anything like that to me, ever. That he was counting on me? I had to go. But you invited Ota along. Little Park is in the middle of the Kawasaki district. There are a number of homeless individuals in a high crime rate there. Mizuki must have been worried about going alone. So she brought this this shrimpy weeaboo who's smaller than she is. <laughs> um But it couldn't be him. Why not? Daddy couldn't have sent the message. Someone else must have used his phone. And his car. My dad would never rely on me. Daddy wasn't driving the car either. Somebody else did it. The killer did it, not Daddy. The only evidence we have so far leads to one conclusion. The cell phone and the car were both operated by Renju Okiura. Hey, Mizuki, tell me again. The person you saw at the merry-go-round. No, it wasn't Daddy. I know it wasn't. You're sure? Well, I... I don't know. I don't remember. It was a while ago. What about you? What about me? You tried calling him. I did. I called earlier, and I tried a few times last night. And he didn't pick up? No. <laughs> what do you think? Did Renju do it? Date. Incoming call from the boss. Well, the most... The thing that would make the most sense is that he was involved, but... Reluctantly? Connected. Definitely suspicious. I agree. I think he's our number one. He's running all over doing all this stuff. He's been strange since last night. He didn't come see Mizuki in the hospital, won't pick up his phone, and he vanishes after questioning. He doesn't have an alibi for the time of the murder either. He doesn't? No, not one we can corroborate. Why did you release him? So Renju was questioned at a local station? That's right. Then why didn't you keep him there? Protocol. Nothing we could do. He wasn't a suspect then, and we had nothing to charge him with. We couldn't hold him. He didn't give us any new information. He didn't have much to say at all, really. No, I told you he vanished. Where are you headed? Benju's house. Don't bother. I had local cops search the place. They didn't find anything. <sighs> Where could he be? Shoko's time of death was estimated to be about 5 p.m. yesterday. Renju claims that he was at home alone at the time, but that means no one can back up his story. Mm -hmm. Alright, boss. Let me know if you find something. You too. Where the hell did Renju go? Uh, Sunpoke? What? Um, Sunpoke. Or something. Is that the Mermaid Cafe? Oh, Sunfish Pocket. Renju was telling me about that place. It's a maid cafe that he Mizuki really trying to act like she doesn't know when she goes there all the time? <laughs> I found it. Approximately 6.2 miles north northeast in Akihabara. Of course, it's in Akihabara. It's closed. I don't think we've ever been here while it was closed. It can't be. Really? Okay, that's chill. Well, time for Mizuki to go mute again. Huh, but what would have changed that for some reason this time he would get murdered, but last time he wasn't? Renju! At least not murdered in this location. Like, I don't feel like anything really 
we, we haven't done anything different that would prompt this. Now she is not only mute, muted by the traumatization, she is also blinded and deafened as well. You look awful. It's kind of a relief in a sense, because we were chasing, trying to get to him the entire last uh, route. And then this time it's like, there he is, he's dead. And it's like, okay, good. Woof. That's a load off my shoulders. I'm sick of chasing after this guy. Now he's just completely not a problem. My best friend was murdered, boss. I don't have it in me to sleep right now. Oh, uh, we probably don't need to examine everything. I know you are in it, in on it, pewter. Two murders, one right after the other. How could I not be? Because that was your lover. I know the truth, pewter. Zapruder. Renju had his left eyeball removed. Which means someone synced with him. Right. Shoko too. So perhaps, Mr. Date, you are the killer. You would think... Would you stop suggesting that? But also, Pewter should know that the prototype required the left eye of people. So the fact that he has not brought that up is actually sketchy at this point. You're missing your left eye, so you steal them from others. I'm kidding. Only a joke. Oh, two people have died. How could I not be upset? <laughs> Here's a funny joke. I'm too tired for your jokes right now, Pewter. Hmm. Pewter. Actually, you lost your eye six years ago, correct? Yes. But Pewter, yes, listen, I buddy. Anything from back then. I'm gonna knock you right back to Pokemon. Uh, I lost my Protonium or whatever it's called. I was transplanted into your empty eye socket a year later. We have been together for more than five years. Am I not allowed to be here? No, I didn't mean it like that. I was here first. I was <laughs> just talking to the boss about Renju's murder. Yeah, yeah, whatever. About Renju. You were the first on the scene, so you know this better than anyone, but Renju was murdered. Yeah. Yeah. He sure was. No way this was a suicide. And the fact that his left eye was removed tells me that this was the same killer as Shoko. The serial killer. The new Cyclops killer. What? That's the nickname that's been spreading around headquarters. So there was an old Cyclops killer, huh? New? Yes. Several years ago. The boss is like, don't bring that Peter. up. Yeah, she really hates when you bring up that old case for some reason. <sighs> There is it's no almost like in we were involved with it. He would find out on his own eventually. It's all over the news. These murders have gone viral, so to speak. The killings from six years ago have continued. The Cyclops killer is back. Six years ago? Is that what you were talking about, boss? <sighs> Fine. I suppose you deserve to know. Dude, this rock goes even heavier into the six years ago meme. She's sleeping at the hospital. They're going to give her counseling after she wakes up. No kidding. I see. Her mother and her father. Feels like almost worse that it was spread out between a couple days. Or was it the same day? I hope she'll be okay. I think it was a couple days. Of course not. I've still got a mountain of work piled up, answering to the higher-ups, the press. 
I'm just taking a little breather. We have a name for it down at HQ. The original Cyclops serial killings. Wait, wait, wait. You already called it the original Cyclops serial killings before it was the new Cyclops serial killings? To distinguish it from this new one. Oh, okay. Is it the way she worded it sounds like we've had a name for it. The original. It was six years ago in October. Four bodies were found in the mountains of Akikalo Valley. But the decomposition of the corpses were all at different stages. Right, about 24 hours apart. I feel like that's actually worse than if she had just found them both dead at the same time. They were each killed sometime during May to September of that year. But they did have two things in common. They were all young women, and... Each corpse was missing their right eyeball. Pulled out posthumously. Ah, oh, their right eyeball. A few days after the corpses were discovered, the killer sent a statement to the press. I killed them, and they are now my dear companions. Something like that. He signed the statement under the name Cyclops. Cyclops from X-Men did this? Hence the name, the Cyclops Killer. The Cyclops is a mythological race of one-eyed giants. According to Greek myth, they are the children of Uranus, god of the sky, and Gaia, goddess of Earth. Cyclops were known for their outstanding strength and smithing ability. So the letter to the press wasn't a fake? It was the real killer? Yes, it had to be. A picture of one of the victims right after she was killed was sent along with the letter. No, in six years we never got a single trace. So maybe Cyclops is responsible for these murders as well. Yeah, I'm glad Iba explained to us what a Cyclops was. No, that's impossible. Why? For one, the original Cyclops killer only killed women. Renju doesn't fit that profile. Second, all of the victims had their right eyes removed. But Shoko and Renju... ...were missing their left eye. The timing of the eye removal is also inconsistent. The original Cyclops killer removed the eyes after the victims were killed. But Shoko and Renju were both still alive. But even so, you can't say for sure this isn't our guy. Maybe they're just doing things a little differently now. Sure. Or do you have another reason? I'm sorry, Date. I can't say anymore. Bullshit, you can't. It's a national secret. Really? How can it be a national secret? Date, please, forget about it. I told you already, you don't need to know anything about that case to investigate this one. This game borders on lost sometimes with characters like withholding mysterious information. The criminal for this case and the case six years ago are not the same. Iba, bring up all investigation records of the original Cyclops serial killings. I already had a look through the database while you were talking. Unfortunately, I found no relevant information. I also did not discover anything of note on the internet. Only amateur theories. All lacking credibility and evidence. Damn it. That's all we have for now. All right. Special Agent Date, we need you to continue your work. Right. I think I'll head back to where Renju was found, Sunfish Pocket. Date, you're exhausted. Why don't you get some sleep before you continue your investigation? I'm fine. Let's go, Iba. Understood. He lies. Well, he didn't lie, he just disagreed. He's like, I'm not gonna go to sleep. I have lots of work to do. Date, the vehicle is accelerating 2% slower than usual. Did you put anything in the trunk? No. What about the back seat? Back seat? Did someone sneak in? Like Mizuki. Did I put anything in there? You could have put a gold brick in there and it wouldn't slow us down this much. Have you checked the back seat? Oh, right. But I can't just turn around and look. While oh, you I'm can driving. clearly see her in the freaking the uh, the mirror. Just check the rear view mirror. Yeah. That's funny. Hmm. Hmm. Or could, could be in the 
Starbucks. Mizuki. Hey, but watch out! Ice forward, stupid. Mizuki climbed her to the front and sat in the passenger seat. That's dangerous. Hey, Date, what would happen if I grabbed the wheel and spun it super hard? We would spend the rest of our very short time together thinking about how stupid that was. What kind of steering wheel do you have? Because I, I haven't driven very much. I hey, Date, it. why do they call it a dashboard? But the car that I tried to steer with it, like, you could not just spin it like that. You have to, like, really work the wheel, like, turn. Because it makes the car it's go horrible. faster. Uh-huh. And why do they call it a tachometer? It measures how many tacos worth of revolutions the wheel spin. Because the tortilla is round. Okay. Obviously. How many tacos? Is this where you keep your weird stuff? No, but don't look. <laughs> Cam is that obvious? She's probably already looked inside. It wasn't locked. I just opened the door. I've been here for like 10 minutes. Why don't your doors have auto locks? I know you like old cars, but you gotta lock the doors. You should be a little more apologetic for someone who just got caught breaking into my car. Mizuki does raise a valid point. If you are not more serious about security, you should consider replacing the car altogether. You too? You were talking to yourself again. I heard you. It's creepy. You should cut that out. I was talking to Ibe out loud before I noticed Mizuki in the car. Must have been what she's referring to. Mizuki is still unaware I exist. That's right. I'm just yeah, surprised to grow. I know there's no reason to hide it since she already knows about this. It's just hard to explain. No, it's not. I have an AI eyeball in my head. Here we go. The end. I won't say anything yet. Understood. But I am ready to be introduced at any time. Just let me know when the time is right. Just have her shoot out of your eyeball in gummy bear mode and dance around the car. That's That'll... not a proposal. No need to be so formal. It's all the explanation we need. Shit, I said that. Date, I think you should go to the hospital. <laughs> well, I can still talk this time. Maybe I'm just getting used to it. Mizuki's psychological wounds have been healed by the sink. Okay, but did she also get like psychological defense for the additional wounds? If you have nothing to talk about, you don't have to say anything. Fair enough. You're an adult, shouldn't you know that already? If you start talking about the weather, it means you have nothing to say. Damn. Rat. I like talking about the weather though. I ditched the hospital. They're probably freaking out over there right now. I'm taking you back. No, don't! Nothing will change if I stay at the hospital all day. You're going to investigate, right? Take me with you, I can help. How is a little runt like you gonna be any help? I'm Renju's daughter. Maybe I'll notice something you don't. Something only his daughter would know. I don't know. My daddy was killed. I can't just stay at the hospital. <sighs> Fine. Don't say I never did anything for you. You're going to take me along? Just promise not to interfere with the investigation. Got it. No, it's more like I don't like sitting still and moping all day. I've grown out of my brooding, pretentious teenager phase. Odd thing for a preteen to say. Are you not aware of Mizuki's mental prowess? She is far more developed than her classmates. She grew out of her moody teenager phase before she even became a teenager. She is even reading psychology papers by Alfred Adler. Sounds pretentious to me. <laughs> hey, about Renju. Do you have anything to tell me? Well, it's not about Daddy, but I heard from Daddy that Mom had a secret. Shoko had a secret? What's the secret? Did you know that mom was the representative of an investment company? Yep. Yeah, I did. That whole company was a big scam. Scam? Well, I don't know the details. They start up a company to get people to invest in it, then shut it down on purpose and keep the money. She got really rich like that. 
Shoko did this? Yep. Start up the company to get people invested, then shut it down and keep the money. That's that's messed up. By herself. No, dummy. Of course it was with other people. Oh, hey, Joe. I saw gangsters there sometimes. Joe, you'd love this game. We break all kinds of laws. If she ever got into trouble, she had them take care of it. Gonna be having a midlife crisis in college. I am scanning all known crime databases, but I cannot find any reports referencing this. They must have been extraordinarily careful. I'm not okay. So, you want to go back to the hospital? I'd be more than happy to drop you off. That's not what I meant. Why are you always so pushy, Dante? I'm not pushy, I'm just worried. You've got a weird way of showing it. It doesn't look like you're worried. You're just weird. You've always got something smart to say, huh? You're just like Renju. Dante. What about Daddy? Nothing. You have no tact, do you? This is why you're single and always will be. <sighs> Damn, give him a break. <laughs> That's where you're wrong, kiddo. I look like a single father when you're around. Chicks love it. Yeah, chicks love to see creepy old men hanging out with a sixth grader. Oof. Hey, what are you implying? Ooh, did I make you mad? Now I'm stuck in a car with an angry old creepy pervert. Uh. I am not an old creepy pervert. And even if you were my age, you're not my type. Ew, I don't want to know about your type. Hey, you started it. Stupid old man. Punk ass kid. This is not going very well, is it? Sunfish Pocket. Walked back to uh, Sunfish Pocket. Date. Good to see you, sir. And this is... Have you looked through the case file yet? Oh, no, oh, I am so sorry. She's the victim's... Yes, please let us through. Funny being in here without it being uh, open. The capacity of this oil drum is 200 liters. It weighs approximately 44 pounds when empty. Let me check inside. Oh, is that his watch in there? What? There's something inside. This is the oil drum. This is the kind of oil drum that has a lid, right? Correct. Let's open it. This yep, is... that is the watch. This is the wristwatch Renju always wore. No doubt about it. But how did this get here? Dragon's Palace Pasta, 1,800 yen. 1,800? Damn. Isn't that pretty average? This is average? Says the girl with the rich mom. Well. Wait, does that mean she's gonna inherit all that money? What are you staring at, creeper? I agree. That means we can move out of that dingy apartment. Iva. Oh, we use an out. I didn't even realize this was a second floor on a building. Searching. Found it. The elevator records are sent automatically to building management, according to the record from yesterday. From 6.30 p.m. until the body was found, this elevator stopped on the second floor only once. At 8.55 p.m., the weight of the car's cargo was approximately 310 pounds. Probably two people then. Or one very heavy person. Average for an overpriced maid cafe. Yeah, probably.
Surveillance I camera. Don't... Did you get anything from the surveillance camera? Unfortunately, no. All of the recordings from local surveillance equipment have been erased. What wow. about backups? There are none. Nothing was uploaded to the cloud either. That's lame. The corpse was strung up near this counter. The autopsy report indicates that the contents of the victim's intestines were excreted upon death. TBA. But no traces of that have been found in the area, nor on the corpse itself. This evidence makes it highly likely that Renju was killed somewhere else. Hmm. It must have been considerably difficult to carry more than 150 pounds. What do you mean? Renju weighed approximately 158 pounds. I can estimate a person's weight by analyzing their bone structure, muscle, and fat. Uh, so it's a, to be honest, eighteen dollars for a pasta dish at a medium price point restaurant sounds about right. Maybe I don't know. I guess I don't really uh, have a lot of experience going out to pasta Is restaurants. That a to be honest. Spear? It more closely resembles a harpoon of sorts. I believe this is a trident. Any chance this was used in the murder? No, there are no traces of blood on the trident, and no indication that Renji was stabbed. I remember when I was younger, like... How old was I? It might have been like high school by that point. We have... I went with my cousin and a couple of his friends to like, Olive Garden, I thought that was really expensive. I was like, what the heck, it costs this much for spaghetti? I thought Olive Garden was a fancy restaurant. And then I come to find later, when I'm older, everyone says Olive Garden's like... Like, uh, considered to be this really, like, low-tier place. Nothing special. I thought I already told you. Sitting around rotting away in the hospital would be worse. Still. I know what you're trying to say. For a little girl to find her dad like that and then want to go back to the scene, I think it's totally weird, right? In fairness, it is also weird for an adult policeman to acquiesce such a request from a child. But this is what I wanted. I didn't want to run away from it. I wanted to confront it. I didn't want... to be weak. Wow. Um... You were telling me earlier that you could spot things only a daughter would know. I know what I said. I'll tell you if I notice anything. Did you hear me? I said I'll tell you if I see anything. Jeez, you're pushy. Pushy men are seen as desperate. This is why no one likes you. Besides, Date? Hmm? Never mind. Just do your investigation or whatever. What was she gonna say? Now is not the time to worry about such things. She's so mean. How could I forget? I'll never be able to get that image out of my head. Not until the day I die. Hey, are you doing okay? Oh, sorry. Just staring. If you're having a hard time, you can tell me. I'm fine. It's not like the body is lying here. But it is. Ooh. Are you really okay? Yeah, I am. Don't you have an investigation to do? Or are you stalling? Are you getting enough rest? Why are we asking that to some random inspector we don't know? What? I was asking for your name. My name is Kagami. Okay, you don't have to sound so mean about it. Jesus. No, we didn't find anything today. <sighs> no, not these past few days. I thought so. Once this is over, get some rest, all right? You too, Detective Date. It's Kagami! Jeez! 
Kagami? I told you it's Kagami! I told you my name like five times! Whoa, man. What's really going on here? I of course remembered his name. His name is engraved in my mind. His name is... Hey you, what's your name? Seriously? It's Kagami. Stop bugging him, it's rude. Excuse you? My best friend, uh, Kagami and I are having a conversation. Yeah, don't spoil our fun. What? <laughs> I got an achievement? What the heck? Counter? Iba, can you recall the time we discovered the corpse? Of course. Oop, well. Imagine if we could just project this into Mizuki's mind. How messed up would that be? Hey Mizuki, check this out. This case bears similarity to Shoko's. The left eyeball was removed while the victim was still alive. The autopsy report discovered the presence of benzodiazepine. It is a common sedative. The dosage found in the victim's bloodstream was extremely high. It can be assumed that Renju's cognitive functions were heavily impaired before his death. This is a little gruesome. Hey, you usually, you usually have to sedate people to sync with them when they're reluctant to do it, right? Strangulation. I remember that was a thing we had to do. Correct. The face shows clear signs of congestion, along with petechia around the face and throat. Both are clear evidence of asphyxiation. Any indication of the murder weapon? Most likely a twisted piece of cloth. The culprit approached Renju from behind and wrapped the cloth around his neck, choking him in an attempt to suffocate him. The specific cause of death is cerebral circulation failure due to vessel closure in the neck. But more simply, the suspect strangled Renju to death from behind. Do we have an estimated- Yesterday, around 8 p.m. So Renji was murdered about two hours before Mizuki and I found the body. The time of discovery was 10.20 p.m. You of course already know this, but you and Mizuki were the first to discover Renji's corpse. The body was hanged from the ceiling, similar to how a fish would be. A thick hook was embedded in the upper jaw and the wires connecting to the hook were strung up on one of the ceiling beams. There was also a hook on the other end of each wire. The three beer kegs were attached to these hooks. We have found no fingerprints. Well, what else is it? Let's see. That's it. Or not? Okay, now the cameras. Blood room again? I already did that. Wooden barrel. Uh, the oil drum's still green. Oh, that's it. Just a little comment? Okay. That tricks me sometimes. Oh, here we go. I could use a drink. Perhaps after this is all over, Date. Oh, the weights. 
Each keg has a capacity of 20 liters. All three kegs were filled in approximately 55 pounds each. Oh, that's the only thing Riddler. I think we've checked everything we need to. I agree. We should compile our evidence and inferences. Mizuki, you ready to leave? What? But we aren't done investigating. What do you mean? There are still people I want to talk to. Uh, like who? Well, there is one place. Have you heard of Golden Yokocho in the entertainment district? Yes. Daddy used to go to a place called Marble a lot. I sure do know that place. Maybe they know something about him. Yeah. Oda is in here all the time. He might know something. I'll call him. Ota's phone is broken. He dropped it in a puddle. Sounds like Ota. He's so clumsy. We'd have to talk to him in person. He's probably at Lemna Skater Matsushita Diner. Yeah. Daddy owned Lemna Skate and Iris works for them. She used to work here too. So she might know something. I'll call her. Mizuki tried calling Iris, but there was no answer. Rude. Have any idea where she might be? I don't know. Iris is into a lot of things. Lemniscate, Matsushita Diner, and Marble. Let's head out. Okay. I'll go to Lemniscate first because there's a chance that they could both be there. Probably not. Hold on, Please. give me just one sec. Mizuki, do you know this guy? Yeah. Can you introduce me, please? She is surprisingly unprofessional for a receptionist. Come on, it's just not so bad. Could you uh -huh. contain yourself for five minutes, Date? You know this receptionist? I mean, yeah, but... Yeah! Of course we know each other! We're like, best friends! <laughs> we hang out! We party! We do not party. <laughs> hey, hey! Who hired this woman? The most likely scenario is that the final decision was made by the head of the company. Renju. Hopper. They were so close. This painting is called Must Hawaiian be a typo. Dishes and Dark Demons. Which part is supposed to be addition? Which part Hawaiian is supposed to be Hawaiian Dishes and Dark Demons? So, someone just, whenever they look at that, they make up a, a name for it, huh? Oh, this is Dark Zoom Kalimas! Who? It's a high stool. Why are you always thinking about high school? I said stool. <laughs> Those were his uh, glory years. How to draw cute anime girls. Oh boy. I think I'll give that a look. Not say no. Captain, enemy vessel, three clicks. I believe you are thinking of sonar. my boss getting murdered, you know? Like, what are even the chances? 
That's like the odds of hitting the lotto. She doesn't seem too upset. But I was kind of lucky in a weird way. Some of my old friends hit me up asking about it, you know. Feels like we're old alumni or something. She certainly found the bright side of this situation. Oh, haven't heard anything about that yet. If the VP might take over, we might get absorbed by another office. Just when I got a job, too. Man, what am I gonna do if this place closes up? So, anyway, <sighs> tell me, Date, what kind of girls do you like? Because uh, I'm the committed type, you know? Would you consider me a candidate? Hmm? This is so weird, because in the other fork in the road, Date was, like, trying to hit on her a lot, and now she's the one interested in it. Well, I, I... We could go out sometime. Wow, dude. You disgust me. Her annoyed, extra annoyed face. He, like, puffs, puff his... Blah, blah, blah. Ups her cheeks. Oh, oh uh, my apologies. Never mind. Puff is... I know how words oh, wow. are. Nah, I haven't seen him today. How is he? The receptionist knows Ota, too? Ota happens to be the kind of otaku who actually has social skills. Those are the ones you have to watch out for. <laughs> yeah. No kidding. When they're, like, socially awkward, but they don't care, or they're just not aware of it, so they just... They just have the, the confidence of a really charismatic person, even though they're they're Ota, basically. Nothing. Anyway, could you give me a call if Ota shows up? I have my number here. Yeah, I got his number. I got his number. Let us pray that the privilege will not be abused. She's gonna keep calling us in the middle of uh, faces. All right, Feck, you have a good night. Thank you for showing up as always. Well, I'll hopefully Iris? You start mean Acer? Uh, slide tomorrow. She's recording a podcast in the underground studio. Oh, that's why she didn't pick up the phone. If you need her right away, I can try contacting her. No, it's fine. This can wait until she's done. For sure. What? For sure. For sure? As in, I got you? I don't believe I've ever heard that sequence of sounds spoken out loud before. Oh boy, here it comes. Dude, it makes more sense when you can actually see her. The first time I went through this little text thing, you couldn't even see her. Her huge breast sitting behind the desk. He's just completely lost his mind. Mizuki, let's go. Staying here would be a waste. Yeah, where should we go next? All right, we'll try to visit these other two places and then wrap up for the night, probably. Um, I guess we'll go here. Ota's probably here. Hello, welcome. You're Mizuki, right? Otis' friend? Yep. And you... Oh, I suppose I should introduce myself more formally. At least something a little more than flashing your badge. My name is Konami Date. Mr. Date, what can I help you with? Salt, pepper, a blend of red cayenne and spice. It says fermented Mayumi juice. I like that they place you in different place, uh, spots in the same locations. A singing door. A swinging door. Hey, we're getting some of the same examination things as last hey, time. Hey, Date, why do beer ads always have girls in bikinis in them? Because they make you thirsty. Why? Oh. I'll tell you when you're older.
A riddle. What is the difference between a cushion and you, Date? I don't know. What? Nothing. You're both soft and get thrown around. That well, wasn't bad. I'm getting better with the jokes. Hands off those hands. <laughs> Just kidding. Gears have stopped turning, not unlike Mayumi. That's a little rude. It looks like a chocolate button with legs. It looks like a chair. <laughs> Someone always says something about the chairs. Smack it with a mop handle. You'd probably Why? kill him. Oh, it's Nasabo from that band Magnusville. I have no idea who that is. What is that, German? Hey Joe, click faster. I'm trying. I'm trying my hardest. He went out early this morning. I don't know where. I see. Yeah, where did Ota go? If he's not in Lemon Skate, he's not in the Maid Cafe. My business card on my pocket handed it to me, Yumi. Sorry to be a bother, but when Ota comes back, can you tell him to contact me? Oh, well, sure. Thanks, ma'am. Oh, cool. Okay. So we're done. Date, let's go somewhere else. Yeah, let's there go. That was a fast one. Works for me. All right, one more spot. Marble usually doesn't take that long, anyways. Boom, boom, boom. Oh no, we're in the alley. Bad Is things happen it? when we're in the alley. Yeah. You know about this place? Yeah. This is where I met Renju for the first time. Interesting. Didn't think this was your kind of spot. This place is special. You can find all sorts of shady characters here. It's the best place for gathering information about a case. So that's why. That is only a partial truth. Shut up. Huh? Let's head inside. Where is everyone? Yeah, good it's question. It's been like this for a while. Not many people come here anymore. Mama should be here soon, though. Okay. In other news, that song playing? at 6.10 p.m. yesterday, on the outer circle of the Capital City Highway in Minato District, Tokyo, a traffic collision occurred involving five huh. cars and at least one truck. That's weird because Renju was originally in that accident, but now he couldn't have been because he's MPD been murdered already. has arrested the driver of the truck suspected to be the cause of the accident for negligence. The investigation is ongoing. Count the bottles. Nine bottles. Hey, Mizuki. Mind cleaning some of your stuff out of the fridge at home? Not gonna happen. Man. No, you're driving. Can't you just drive? Indeed I can, but I refuse. Why? Uh, Nothing good comes of you being drunk. I don't think we've ever seen a drunk Date. I don't want to get drunk. I just want to be sobriety impaired. Allow me to ruin your stupid joke before you say it. It's not stupid. Date, what was that weird show you used to watch? The one with the girls running in slow motion. Uh, what was so good about it? They watched everything.
the talented Mr. Dickley. I wonder what that is. There's hangers on a lot of people just hang their coats up there. It looks like it'd be kind of hard to reach. Are you tired? No. And what do you mean by that? Nothing. Just let me know when you're tired. You can go home anytime you want. You aren't really worried about me, you just think I'm annoying, right? Don't beat around the bush, just say it. But you know what? It wouldn't matter anyway, because I'm not going home. A long time since we did this. Did what? Sat at a table together like this. We haven't eaten dinner together in a while. After I finish working on this case, we should do it again. Why? Because of what happened to my mom and daddy? I don't need that. When she says mom, when she says daddy, must have been closer to the father, I'm guessing. Date, this is where you need to take a stronger role as her guardian. Data suggests that children who eat alone are prone to mental imbalances and poor physical condition. The meals you prepare do have sufficient nutritional content. However, you need to make sure that Mizuki is eating all of it. Otherwise, your effort is wasted. We should have at least one meal together. I told you, I don't want to. Why not? Because, um, I don't like how you hold chopsticks. It makes me sick. What? <laughs> really now? People have always told me that I have good technique. Some even say it's beautiful. It's disgusting. Too clean. What? Besides, there's no point in eating together. Why is that? Because you don't talk when you're eating. I don't like sitting in silence. Well, we don't have to be quiet. That's true. We had that omelet with Iris and we just It's fine. I don't like hearing you silent. talk either. Oh. I believe she has entered her teenage rebellion phase a year early. <sighs> this is gonna be rough. Sounds about right. It's okay. Is it? Yup. Do you have a lot of friends? Yeah, but I don't really like my elementary school friends. They're too immature. I have more fun with Iris and Ota. I don't know if they're too immature. You're just very mature for your age. You think so? The kids at school are so stupid. They gossip about who had their first kiss for days. I don't see why that's anyone's business. These grade schoolers move fast. Nah, no, not really. It's pretty normal nowadays. You... You haven't kissed anyone yet, have you? No, I'm not interested in that. Oh, thank God. Huh. Hey, Date. What did you and Daddy used to talk about when you were here? What about all the illegal gang stuff he was involved I in? I don't remember a lot of it. I was usually drinking pretty hard. Don't worry. I have everything recorded. Well... In fact, the conversation about you taking care of Mizuki took place here, at Marble. Really? The topic was brought up several times afterward, but the first time was here. Four years ago, after drinking enough liquid courage, Renju asked you to take care of Mizuki. At the time, Renju was recently divorced. Buried in work at Lemnisgate, and mentally unstable. It was a display of excellent judgment. Hey, Double O, you caught me just at the end, out. as we're, we're gonna wrap up pretty soon, but good to see you. You think so? Sometimes, I don't think it was the right move. You should have more confidence. I guarantee you that it was the best decision. Let's hope so. She, there she is. Date, honey. Long time no see. Hey, Mama. How have you been? Oh, tired and sore, but not in a fun way. <laughs> Watch the innuendo in front of the kid. Oh, who is this? Renju's daughter. Drink in that lane. Drop the like. Thank you. I appreciate Hi, it. Nice to meet you. Oh, you're... I... Oh, it must have been hard. I saw on the news. It's okay. Really? Oh, it must have been so hard. Stupid Ren. What was he thinking, leaving his little girl like this? Oh. <laughs> well. Hey, Mama. I wanted to ask you some questions about Renju. Oh. 
guess crying isn't gonna solve the thing, is it? Go ahead, ask away. I'll help any way I can. Oh, Mama. What are you doing back there? <laughs> Excuse you. <laughs> I got every time you talk this is to the Saint fridge, Sebastian he makes a, a joke. Christian who lived under Roman Emperor Diocletian on January 20th, 288 AD. He was martyred. This painting depicts his execution. Something wrong, Date? You're staring awful hard. Nothing. Just caught my eye. Why now of all times? That's been hanging there for a while. Really? Yeah. It was a gift from Ren a while back. I've always had it there. Hmm. Weird. Are you scared of Mama? Not really. Oh, don't worry, honey. I don't bite. I'm only aggressive when it comes to men 20 through mm, 65. Okay. That's a pretty wide range. Gotta widen my net for a catch like you, Date, honey. <laughs> I think I'll ignore that one. I think I'll ignore it as well. About Mom. I heard that shady characters hang out here. So who are you and how do you fit in? No one special. I'm just a facilitator. A facilitator? People who come in here tend to have very specific interests. I help accommodate. Oh. Okay. Mama's like, uh, an informant. That's right. And I won't charge you this time. Just promise to get the bastards who did this to Ren for me. We will do it. I can start asking questions. Um, was Renji a regular here? Of course he was. We met him here. That's a silly question. I haven't seen him for a while. Oh, but I guess he hasn't shown up in a while. I thought I was going to shrivel up and die of boredom without you boys around. Shrivel up? You look like a purple water balloon. <laughs> That's right. Care to give me a poke? Oh. I'll pass, thanks. Inappropriate. Have you heard any rumors about Renji? This is the black market, the OG Silk Road. Yeah. Anything about grudges, disputes? Is it okay to talk in front of Mizuki? Yes, I want to be here. Trust me, you couldn't drag her away. If you say so. Apparently, Ren had some connections with the Kumakura gang. Ooh, the Kumakura gang. We know about them. A gang? Yeah, real rough customers. This is their turf. So Daddy was involved with gangsters. Mizuki, that company Shoko was running, were they also tied to the Kumakuras? Yes. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Well, there was the watch incident. The watch that we found? I'm sure you remember that one. Watch incident? You don't remember? Your drunk ass spilled your beer on Ren's watch. Ren was furious, yelling about how this oh, watch yeah. is more important than my life, or whatever. He blew up on you. That was the only time I've ever seen Ren that mad. That's why I remember it so well. Was it this watch? That's right, we found it. Yeah, that's it. Why do you have it? I wonder was why it, it was in the barrel. The scene? Ren was given that watch by his lover. It was an anniversary gift. Cuter. Lover? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot Mizuki was here. No, it's fine. But of course, it wasn't an affair. This was all after he was divorced. Daddy had a new lover. Well, it happens. I'm going to the bathroom. You remember where it is. Yeah, outside, right? Don't go to the bathroom. Bad things happen this when you do that. This is a small establishment that does not have its own restrooms. Wait, you're leaving? Oh, <laughs> scared of me, huh? No, it's just... Um... Mama, keep an eye on her. Sure thing. Don't have too much fun in there. Give her a nod and wave and left. What, are we gonna find a porta potty 
Iba, get boss on the line. Got it. What's up? Mizuki is at a bar called Marble down in Golden Yokocho. Send someone over to pick her up. She's not at the hospital? Uh, yeah, she snuck out. I took her along while I was doing some work, but I can't take her any further. Understood. I'll send someone. Counting on you, boss. Well, where are we going? Are you then? going to leave Mizuki here? Yes. I can't take her into a Yakuza den. Ah, uh, that's fair. Even though we actually know that they're pretty harmless. Crew office. Alright, I'm gonna save and wrap up for the night. Hopefully we made a decent amount of progress. Oh, we're gonna have to watch this fight scene again, aren't we? Who's this asshole? Let me see. Yeah. Sorry for the late introduction. I'm with the MPD. What do you know about the new Cyclops serial killings? Okay, here we go. Shoko Nadami and Renju Okiura had their left eye pulled out and were murdered. And I think you know something about it. Saw it on the news. But we had nothing to do with it. Even if we did, it wouldn't spill to no cops. Alright, we're gonna save here now. Alright. Thank you, everyone. Tomorrow, I'm probably gonna... Probably tomorrow, I'll start uh, Sly Cooper. If not, then the next day. Um, and then we'll come back to this occasionally so we can make our way through. Um... Thank you everyone for joining. We'll catch you later. Have a great night. Peace out.